join Karen Crawford on a new DVD to Jewelry Maker, Talk Necklace Projects. You'll learn lovely talk necklace designs, such as the freeform talk necklace, colour grading, how to add gemstones, the Aztec weave, and how to add embellishments. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Good afternoon everybody, welcome, welcome to Design Inspiration. It is so lovely to have you on board with us today. I have got some treats. Do you want to have a little look at what I'm wearing Don's head? We are going to be learning how to make the components of this today in a gorgeous neckline piece. This, of course, is created by the ever so talented, truly wonderful Gemma Crow. How are you, Gemma? Hello, good afternoon. Oh, I'm good. Good afternoon. You've got a little <laughs> bit of a bad throat still, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, bless. bit of a cold. Bit of a cold. Yeah. Well, you're definitely adding some brightness to our day with these pieces, yeah. aren't you? We've got some really fun and funky headgear today. Yes, I love these pieces. Um, what have we got in your designer inspirations in both of them today? Well, we've got three bundles almost and mm. one is sort of gone through both. So we've got lots of lovely wire, as mm -hmm. you can see from that fascinator, and then we've got um, some floral um, fun pieces and then we've got some more demure pieces with pearls and things like that. So yeah, bit of a variety. Bit of a variety. Yeah. We are going to be bringing the wire to you later on uh, we'll be, and you can use that in both of the kits today so it's a great one to get your hands on. I mean there's loads of wire in that. Um, and then we're going to be launching kind of the other components as well individually over the two design inspirations. I've got so much going on for you today and I haven't actually managed to ask Pete this yet but Peter, hi brother Pete, come here lovely. How was um? How was your mother's day? It was good. How was mum? She she was good. Yeah. Standing that. camera. weren't oh. we both there? No, I was with my actual oh, oh, yeah, mum, yeah. <laughs> yeah. as opposed to my faux mother. Pete's mother. Yeah. Um, Pete, I need you to do me a favour. I've got four brand new inns today, brand spanking okay. news, okay? Uh, beautiful, and not just gemstones, tools as well. So what I need you to do, this is your first challenge, at bang on 20 past, I need you to come up with a sound, a sound that we can all hear okay. just at 20 past that is alerting us to the fact we've got a new inn. Yeah. Okay? I'll, I'll You've got to do I'll it four it. times today, but the first one's at 20 past. Okay, do a swan song. Do a swan song? Yeah. How does that go? It's going to be like ethereal. Ethereal. Yeah. Okay, that's your theme. Ethereal swan yeah. song yeah. is your first sound. I've got four brand news in today. The first one's going to be at 20 past, the second one's going to be 20 past the next hour, and then it's going to be 22 and 22, so keep your eyes peeled for those today. Um, and like I say, it's not just gemstones. I've got new tools for you as well in those sections. Um, what else do I have for you today? Well, 
I have got um, a whole section of natural beauties on for you today. So if you're one of those people who's really into your gemstones and you're really interested in gemstones that are created by Mother Nature and purely just taken out of the ground, shaped and polished by us here, then that is what we are going to be bringing to you. There's going to be no heat, no dying, no irradiation, no doublets, no triplets, no nothing out of the ordinary in that section for you. And that's coming up for you later on in the show. I then got a whole section of something a little bit different. There's some gemstones in there you may well not recognize. And there's actually some pieces in different forms for you as well. So I've truly got loads coming up today. We want you to get involved. Give us a message in. Let me know how was your Mother's Day? What did you get up to? I went um, with my gorgeous mother and my grandma. We went out for a nice meal. Me and my grandma shared some pink fizz. It was lovely. Um, what did you get up to? Anything nice? And do feel free to message in any questions for lovely, lovely Gemma Crow as well. 60 triple seven. Sorry, text with the word JM Studio. Let's get this started because I truly do have lots of treats for you today. Where are we going, lovely Helena? Bringing to you first off a bundle which genuinely I'm absolutely blown away by on the price. Did you watch on Thursday? Um, I had to do the morning show on Thursday because because of poorly poorly loose. But um, lovely um, uh, Vicky. Uh, Vicky Carr, of course it was, uh, she took over from me um, on the Designer Inspiration Show and she bought you a cab just like this. It is your gorgeous Malachite Oval, 20 by 15. The wonderful thing about Malachite is, of course, you have that banding, that unique and individual banding, but you also get this almost edge of toyancy that just bursts under the surface with Malachite, which is so unique and individual. If you want beautiful banding, if you want unique, almost age lines on this, then you've absolutely got it here in abundance, and it's a beautiful cabochon that's around 10 carats worth. Now, when Vicky Carr did uh, take over from the DI from me on Thursday um, she brought you a cabochon just like this it was of course your marker site and in the oval shape it was slightly larger and the price of that was an absolute bargain it was $8.95 it was larger than this but it was $8.95 which is a great price for malachite because malachite in itself is a very very sought after highly renowned gemstone which can when set into precious metal pieces demand really quite increasingly high prices so that was a great price for a cabochon, the Malachite at 895. I'm telling you that price for a reason. Bear it in mind. I'm now bringing to you on top of that because this is a bundle. I'm going to bring you another strand, not just one, but actually two. And actually, I'm questioning. I know this is a strand length, but realistically, with the graduation in this, this could easily come across as a necklace strand, couldn't it? This, ladies and gentlemen, is your wonderful green adventuring, and these are your plain rounds. The graduation is immense from six mil to over double the size of that at 14 mil in the center there. It's a really lengthy strand and I think to me it's a necklace strand because I quite like the, when you are wearing the strand uh, around the decolletage, you can generally make your own graduation, can't you? You don't necessarily have to do so with this if you do not want to. Um, it's just a stunning, stunning strand, it really is. Green inventory and a beautiful gemstone. And actually I've got a very, very special gem coming up for you tomorrow that will go stunningly with this. It's a gemstone that I've never even seen before on this channel. I have on this channel, not on this one. I'll tell you more about that later. <laughs> um, it's going to go gorgeous with that though. And then lastly, but by no means leastly, your beautiful green amethyst. It's lovely to have green amethyst in, especially when it's got this freshness. Um, 75 carats worth on that stand, and it's from around a 4 by 3 to an 8 by 3 on those. All of them beautifully eye cleared to me. Got this beautiful zest, this freshness running through. The colours of those together just work exquisitely well. I think this in itself, if you've got wire at home, or if you're planning on getting that wire bundle I've got for you later on, which by the way is, is truly extensive, I would genuinely, genuinely say to you, get your hands on on the wire kit later and this and you've got your own kit there this to me is a perfect kit you'll be able to make a whole suite of jewelry and more with this easily if you get that wire attached green with envy remember what i said about the malachite the price points we're used to seeing for it 8.95 for the cabochon on Thursday. It was larger. It's a bigger carat weight. But if you maybe wanted the, the gemstone itself, but maybe you wanted to see things paired with it, well, you've got it here because the whole bundle today, 
eight pounds and 95 pence for you today on this entire amount now bear in mind for me that strand that that individual cabochon piece you saw was 8.95 it was a it was a larger carrot weight but it was the same size and shape it was a great price when you got it then but maybe a lot of you were looking at it and thinking it is one cabochon i'm wondering what can i do i'm not sure well we've paired it here it is a smaller carrot weight we've paired it here though the same gemstone in the cabochon form again and we've added it with two strands that just look epically beautiful together and we've matched the price point of that previous cabochon eight pounds and 95 pence it is truly spectacular what could you do with these well we could i've already said that this this uh, adventuring strand to myself natural beautiful beautiful um necklace appearance couldn't it but then imagine just interspersing these maybe with a few of those drops of that beautiful green amethyst i love the idea of, of kind of using the um the malachite in, as uh, soutache center and maybe working around that because you have I've got the graduation on this strand which is going to give you a beautiful effect isn't it what would you do with these Gemma Quo? Uh, it's lovely to have the graduation it's because, beautiful isn't it because you've got a variety of sizes so you can you know you can either have it as a simple neckline just re-thread it so that's lovely and um, the cabochon I love because you can do all sorts with them now we've shown so many things and to have malachite in a cabochon really shows you how beautiful it is because you yeah. get all that surface area yeah so um for me, it would go with copper wire or sheet copper or rose gold and it would just look gorgeous. I love that idea. I absolutely adore it. Well done to you all who are coming in for this today. £8.95 pence is your price point. HG, oh sorry, HZGC30. Well done everybody who's getting your hands on that today. So lovely to see you all, lots of multi-buyers on that one as well, genuinely as well. Seriously lengthy strands on all of those. Where to, sorry lovely? Bringing to you now, ooh. I need to let you, I need to make you fully aware instantly. Single figures, I'm going to say three words and one of them is Tanzanite. Um, just get yourself on the phone lines for us instantly because I am in single figures, okay, already. 0800 644 655. Get in on the phone whilst you can because not only am I saying to you Tanzanite, I'm also saying to you Kyanite and I'm saying to you Sapphire as well. True blue. They want it, they are your favourite colours when it comes to gemstones um, here at Jewelry Maker, but also on the high street. We have got three of your most stunning and exquisite, luxurious gemstones in the world right here, right now. What was the last price point you saw on a faceted strand of tanzanite of this length and of this quality? I know for me, the last strand of faceted tanzanite of this quality and of this graded colour, this kind of colour grading effect I'm seeing through here, which is super deep, deep, beautiful. It, to me it's looking like a double A easily with that colouring it's, it's perfectly matching it even just that tanzanite the last price point I saw here at Jewelry Maker for a tanzanite strand similar to this by itself was £59.95 and that was just a few weeks ago I'm bringing to you now though on top of that a stunning strand of that wonderful wonderful sapphire and the deepest richest of blue sapphires and I'm bringing to you kyanite as well your price point today for all three strands is going to blow you away just 69 pounds and 95 pence so if we're taking this and we're comparing it exactly to that strand i had on a few weeks ago essentially you are getting your hands on the sapphire and the kyanite for just five pounds each realistically aren't you if this were to be the same strand that is the price point please don't forget for me that tanzanite is absolutely shooting up in price point we're looking at about an 800 percent ride at the moment in time we are no longer purchasing any of our tanzanite anymore more here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. At this moment in time, we are no longer purchasing it and we haven't done so for a month or two, maybe even. Um, so if you want it, get it whilst you can because we're literally kind of getting on the last of our tiny amount of stock quality. For example, I've got three left now. I've got three of these left now. Um, you've got to check out your baskets if you want them. That is an astonishing price point. I've actually got three left and I've got a few, fair few in baskets. So please do check out um, Dumfries and Galloway uh, and Suffolk and I'll Australia all with it in your baskets do check out it's your last opportunity to get your hands on these um, today it's just an astonishing price point I've now got more people with it in their baskets than I have quantity get this home 
get your authenticity, get your authenticity, no even to, need to even question it. You can print it off online or call a call centre and talk to them. Get your authenticity and if you wanted to just lock these away for a little bit and then see how the price changes, absolutely feel free to do so. I've got two of those left at this moment in time. I am moving on because it's so low stock, but well done to whoever's already got it and to everyone who gets those last two because that's the last time you're going to see that beautiful Shades of Blue collection and it really is stunning. You're going to fall in love. Um, another one of my absolute all-time favourite gemstones right now. It, it's high-end. It's, it's so high-end. It's got the uh, nickname Million Dollar Emerald. Take a look at this gorgeous strand for me. This is your million dollar emerald. Um, it's called a million dollar emerald for the purest fact, the simplest fact, that if this were to be emerald, if emerald were ever to be found with this saturation, with this tone, so tone-wise you're looking at around the 65% tone, um, and if it were to be found with this clarity, it purely would be worth a million dollars for just a couple of carats. Um, this is your stunning chrome dioxide from Russia. This is your Russian chrome dioxide. It's so important to point that out. I know a lot of people have been asking about it recently. Um, again, I'm now in single figures, I've just been told, um, so please get it whilst you can. A lot of people have been asking recently, actually, we've had loads of messages in about, about chrome dioxide. A lot of people saying, you know, why, why do you keep mentioning, you know, that it's Russian? Because, uh, you know, isn't that an obvious thing? Well, no, we find chrome dioxide all over the world now. We never used to. Um, you know, it used to only be Russian chrome dioxide, but now we get it in Brazil. We get it all over America. We found lots and lots of little deposits of this. But Russian chrome dioxide, no, not in Wigan, Ben. Um, Russian chrome dioxide is kind of the go-to uh, pinnacle point of excellence. It's still our kind of um, summit point, I suppose, of excellence and location when it comes to chrome dioxide and it comes to luxury realistically gem collectors gem lovers gem connoisseurs will look for Russian chrome dioxide time and time again because it really is that go-to place to get the highest quality we're lucky that we have great connections to the mines and we can get price points such as the one you're about to see just £59.95 for you today for this luxurious Russian chrome dioxide. Just take a think about that. Take, about the, uh, uh, take a thought on the fact that this is from that number one location. It is known as the million dollar emerald. And also, when you're dealing with your Russian chrome dioxide, just think of those mining situations we're getting this from right now. Um, so, so cold that the that locals in the area, the miners in the area have a saying and the saying is um, um, whisper of the stars and what whisper of the stars is when you see that picture that you've just seen now that's actually in the summer months when we can mine for this whisper of the stars is when the miners actually talk to each other in these mining situations their breath freezes in mid-air due to the fact that it's below minus 55 degrees their, air, um, their breath freezes in mid-air and it audibly hits the ground and they call that whisper of the stars because they can hear their own breath hitting the ground that's how cold it is it's a beautiful gemstone from a unique and individual location. Get it whilst you can because apparently, oh well, once everyone checks out, I've, I've got none left. Uh, 59.95 for you today. Well done, everybody. I've got more in baskets than I have available quantity. You ready for this? I'm so excited to show you this because they're described as amethyst buttons. And I personally have never seen amethyst buttons before. Have you? Take a little look. I think they're gorgeous. Aren't they just beautiful? They are so deep and rich in their appearance. They really are. And they are natural, by the way. If you love natural gemstones, don't forget I have got that whole natural section coming up for you later. And I've even got natural colored pearls in there, which I know a lot of you are demanding at this moment in time. I have got a strand for you coming up and it's a little bit beautiful, I have to say. Um, this is your strand of your amethyst graduated plain buttons. This is gonna add so much difference to your designs because they are your beautiful buttons. Um, almost, I suppose, could be described as a plain bicone in a sense, couldn't they? A little bit more squished down, maybe. Um, I've just got to show you something. This strand is natural, it's beautiful, it's rich, and there's graduation. And I mean, it's a seriously lengthy strand. Look at the length of this strand. 
You have got a graduation from 5 by 1 to an 8 by 2 on this today. This is an absolutely lengthy, lengthy strand. I can't think of a strand that I, at that time that I have seen a strand of natural amethyst of this length because natural amethyst is in, in increasingly uh, difficult to get your hands on and it's harder for us to get the carat weights than we used to say uh, 20, 30 years ago out of the ground, the yield wise from this location in particular. Um, so to be able to get your hands on a lengthy strand like that is just so superb and wonderful um, if you want to add a little bit of difference to your pieces then you absolutely can with this because very rarely will we see that kind of button style but we've got it today you've got 180 carats worth on this strand um, let's just bring your price point in because let's face it it's going to be hard to judge we know it's natural so we know in generally in the gem world a much higher price point 17.95 for you today though is not is it that is not much higher than you would normally expect for gemstones of this quality and of this amount and um, Gem Quote, what would you look at doing with this strand well they're great in between rounds because they just sit so snugly Love and that. and uh, minimise the space between the rounds so that, that work like a rondelle in that sense. Love that idea. But they, they look great with um, jump rings in between as well because the jump rings sort of just frame them. So yeah, they're, they're really versatile strand. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm smiling because my producer Helen has just gone I wish I looked like Gemma Crow when I was ill. When I'm ill I look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I'm I've troweled it on today. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> I really have. I adore that. Lots of you coming in for this. It's a super duper lengthy strand, much more than our usual, um, usual um, uh, length. So please, please do get your hands on this if you wish. The graduation is great, so it means you're going to be able to do lots and lots of different looks and designs for this. £17.95 for you today. It's 180 carats worth of that gorgeous amethyst. Beautiful natural quality. It really is sensational. G K O D 30. <laughs> Thirty-one is the code on that. How was that swan song? I thought swan song was meant to be relaxing. It was ethereal, wasn't it? It was, it was warm. ethereal. It was warm. Warm towards the middle. It that. was warm towards the middle. Look at him getting into it. Uh, that sound means it's officially time for a new in. And I've got four new ins for you today if you've just tuned in. I'm doing one at 20 past, one at the next 20 past, and then the hour after that will be 22 and 22 again. So I have got for you the first new in of the day. And I mean, it is, I'm just so lucky. Um, it's, it's gorgeous Ethiopian opal, brand spanking new brand spanking new for you today on this strand it is so stunning to be able to see this isn't it really really beautiful to get this Ethiopian opal back with us because we've not been able to get much of it recently out of the ground due to the formation process of this the formation takes such a long long time I'm not talking, you know, years and years. I'm talking hundreds upon thousands of years to create each and every single one of these. It's purely created by Mother Nature. And just so everybody knows, I'm going to do a premiere price point on this for you today. Um, it's a stunning brand new strand. And not only that, it's kind of a triple whammy with this. Not only is it brand new, you've never seen it before. Not only am I going to do a premiere price, but I'm going to give it to Gemma Crow as her challenge as well today. Um, when you are dealing with Ethiopian opal, it's so important that you remember the process in which Mother Nature creates this, in which we bring it to you as well. Um, do you know what? There's so many of you coming in, you're all thinking, oh, well, premier price point actually I already like the price I can see on my screen if you are on the web let's get that price point you will be paying in the future upon your screen right now 17.95 that should give you an idea of kind of what we're dealing with here the fact that this is your genuine Ethiopian opal we are going to drop that down later but not right now at this moment in time we're going to drop it down for you a bit we just wanted people to have the same fair chance you can see the opalescence in this you can see that beautiful pin fire in this and that is totally due to the formation of this um, I've got a little bit of a picture as to how this is kind of formed um, essentially 
it's formed, as I said, over a very, 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 very long period of time. Essentially, what happens in this area within um, within Ethiopia, there is a really quite high water table. Now, when we talk about the water table, we talk about the water that's inside the crust of the Earth, and you can see it depicted here. And essentially, what happens uh, over a very, very long period of time is, as the sun, uh, as it's the summer months and it's very, very hot, the water table will lower. And what happens as the seasons change and more and more rain picks up, the winter comes into play there's lots of you know quite treacherous um i suppose weather conditions at times a lot of water passing through a lot of heat changes that will happen instantly lots of elements and lots of minerals essentially get picked up as it kind of trickles through the um as it trickles through the crust of the earth it's picking up all these different elements which have been there for a long long, long time thousands of years but also new elements that come into play time and time again and what will happen is the cracks and crevices will fill up with this water over time because that water table again will rise to cover up those cracks and crevices and what that means is as the summer months come around again tiny 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 elements little little bits of minerals and elements are left over from that water trickling down through and it'll leave this tiny small film like layer of opal now that will take a year to do but the crack and crevices won't be filled up with just loads of opal it is a film like layer a tiny 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 layer of opal and that's why it takes thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years and when you look at a piece of opal like you're looking at this strand here you need to think to yourself that piece of opal there hasn't formed in one go that will have been formed over 20 25 even just the smallest ones the thinnest layers here will have filmed over those 20 25 years just to create a small piece like that because it takes millimeters and millimeters and millimeters within the earth each time it takes such a long time for mother nature to build up but at the end of the day when we do get it out of the ground it means essentially that we are bringing to you something so special unique and individual that mother nature has created for us and that's one of the reasons it's loved the world over because it is something that we haven't tampered with we haven't added color onto this you see that pin fire in front of you those pinks are one of the rarest colors of opalescence in the world those pinks that you can see spinning around in front of you um well then that is all mother nature we haven't applied anything to this and even in that bottom one you can see there all of those beautiful opalescent tones running through don't forget for me as well um you know what you see in the studio isn't necessarily what you're going to be getting because the lights in here are bleaching for opalescence i am going to do a launch price well done for everyone who's already come in at 17.95 because we are dropping it lower for you today your price point today is going down first time you've seen it before that price comes in i need to say don't forget it might not be this price again but it is today for you 14 pounds and 95 pence for you on this stunning strand today it's been thousands 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 of years that years in the making it has been taken from a good good location your ethiopian opal this is a special strand this is from one of the most renowned locations in the world it takes us such a long time to get our hands on this gemstone from that location because essentially um it, it's in this it's it, we mine it it's very very different to how we mine say australian opal um Australia, uh, of course, it, it has the biggest yields on the market in a, in a sense um, for for the um, locations in which we get it, and in. Um in um, blah, blah, blah. in Australia, a lot of it will either be open pit mining or we will do um, ditch mining, so you go down into the crust of the earth. With this, though, it's totally and absolutely different. Again, we're working with Mother Nature. What we actually do is we abseil down a cliff face to get these, and we actually go around two to four metres into that cliff face to get these. So it's a total different, really quite unique way of mining for this gemstone, but it's because Mother Nature spends thousands of years doing it. She brings us these gorgeous pin fire colors of pinks and golds and blues and yellows in there as well and then we essentially abseil down the side of a, a cliffy um, hill to get it out of the ground because that's how much the world loves opal we adore it so so much and and i can tell that you do as well because your names are about to go off my screen well done to everyone just to reiterate again for you i cannot guarantee you will see 14.95 again i'm just allowed to say to you that it is a launch price offer and the original price of this is actually 17 pounds and 95 pence Gemma Crow, this is going to be your challenge so what are you thinking of doing with it lovely um very simple jewelry i think so that the gemstones can speak for themselves 
and so that you can see the value because I think when you do something simple it's perceived as more valuable mm. so I think I'm gonna make the most of the fact that it's Opal yes. uh, and it's got that prestige but I haven't worked with Opal very much so um, so I'm really looking forward to it it's one that I haven't haven't played with much at all well it'll definitely be fun for you to play yes. with 110 yes. percent uh, we will hand this over to you right now oh, and actually you. oh you're a love and actually I'm heading over to you for a designer inspiration okay. so and um, we are going to be learning how to create some stunning pieces in this collection I have to say um do you want a sneaky piece of just one just one piece sneaky sneaky they're pretty special I've got to say Ooh, gorgeous headband piece there. We're going to be looking at the more of those pieces later on, but first off, you need to get your hands on the kit. So, again, as I said earlier, the kit's divided into two. I'll be launching the wire part of the kit in, what, 15 minutes or so? About-ish. 15 minutes to half an hour to 20 minutes soon. Um, I'll be launching that in a little bit, but first off, to create these pieces, you are going to need to get your hands on the gemstones and, and the main components. So the main components I have here for your gorgeous headwear, of course, is your headbands and your hair combs. You've got five of each of these and they're in that stunning rose gold shape. Our quality is sensational. I've got to say to you, even if you perhaps are thinking you, oh, hang on a second. Wait, wait. Ah, kit swap, kit swap. Oh no, that's coming up for you in a bit though. The information my producer has put up is for fabulous fashion. Thank you, Peter. Hair bands and hair combs in this one, but <laughs> about to change, but in a slightly different colourway. Um, this is in the gold, so that's your second kit. You've had a sneaky peek now, you lucky things. Um, you have got in this kit a beautiful variety. Again, it's your hair combs, your hair bands, five of each, but in the gold this time. And don't just think of these as headbands and hair combs either, because Gemma Quarry is actually going to show us in that second piece exactly how we can use these as neck pieces and actually um, use them as talks as well. So we'll talk to you more about that in the second designer inspiration which you've seen a sneaky peek of already you lucky lot um but then i also have for you three strands i will be bringing that wire to you again like i said in the next half hour or 40 minutes or so i've got for you now you're gonna love these in fact sorry let me just show you these beautiful pearls gorgeous green real deal pearls light green baroque pearls these are seven by six mil i'm then adding to the situation that gorgeous strand of your clearest oh it's so nice white crackle quartz these are your irregular shaped beads now irregular shape doesn't really tell you much does it so if i give you a good show of these you'll be able to have a look I would describe these, if you imagine a rectangle, and then if you take the rectangle by both ends and just give it a little bit of a twist, that's the look you've got on these. They're kind of your twisted shapes. It's really nice. I like the way that it kind of moves the light around it. I like the way you also get that internal crackle effect, which, of course, don't forget, is just simply created by applying a bit of heat to this. And Mother Nature, the way she works, she just naturally changes the internal effects of the gemstone and gives you that gorgeous crackled effect, which I think is so beautiful, so mysterious as well and really adds interest um, you've got 200 carats worth on those I've then got for you some wire of this wire you have 0.6 it's in your antiques bronze and it's that beautiful um, 10 meter reel really great quality on our wire as I'm sure a lot of you will know if you do want to wire top up I have got more coming up for you later on but there is a lot in there and maybe uh, you know I think there's oh well it's around the 50 pounds mark isn't it the amount of wire we're bringing to you we're going to reduce it to around the 50 pounds mark so maybe you can't stretch to that and you do need a bit of wire in your life well then treat yourself to this today because you are going to treat you because uh, you have got 10 meters worth in here I've then got for you well you know all this I've just shown you that's pretty much free pretty much because we know that these me meshes used to be around they were when they were first launched first ever launched they were the 995 price point weren't they well, we've taken them down we've messed around with prices but on average now for your wire meshes when we were getting them you're looking at around the 895 price point for these each so i've got three in here you have got 
three sets of your mesh and this is your original mesh that we have in here um, you've got the 10 meter the 10 mil gauge a meters worth of the antiques bronze I've got the 18 mil gauge on the graphite color and I've also got the 18 on the bronze color as well when we talk about the gauges you'll be able to see exactly what we mean by that later on with Gemma Quarry's pieces um, but essentially it's to do with the way in which these look and the way in which these spread and, and, and kind of how spread out they are so if you're thinking to yourself even if we make it easy and say that these are nine pounds um, each as they used to be well then that's a relatively easy one to work out isn't it you've already got 27 pounds worth just there in front of you but then when I add to the situation this strand that price point skyrockets why because it's natural pearls sensational beautiful luster point natural colored pearls these are beautiful gorgeous effect that we have on these they're around seven by six mil again and when you're dealing with natural colored pearls like I have coming up for you later on but I do need to let you know that obviously the strand I have for you later on it doesn't look like this but also the strand I have coming up for you later on is by itself so if you wanted it a bundle um, and therefore you know you're going to be getting a little bit of net, well a massive price discount on this well then get it whilst you can because I believe at 27 pounds ish for just the meshes and then let's add oh well I wouldn't even dare guesstimate what have, what have we been doing on natural pills recently well you've seen any price points really haven't we some some really high prices yeah generally in the gemstone world when we're looking at natural color pearls the price point will skyrocket it will even change more natural color pearls the price point than it will just do to do with size which is an absolutely amazing amazing thing um, take a look at you should be priced today that's probably the price point that some of you will have been expecting because if you're thinking 27 pounds ish just for these ones in general then realistically that extra you know 10 pounds not even that on top for this strand of natural pearls it's no long chalk for the imagination is it but today I'm actually bringing you all of this you're going to be absolutely blown away this is a serious serious price point this is one of the lowest price kits I've seen in quite some time 22 pounds and 95 pence for the entire kit not just for this no for all of these hair combs five hair combs for the five headbands as well there's so many of you coming in you're all on the phone now for these two strands as well for you and for that wire too this price point is absolutely astonishing Gemma Crow you kind of looked across at me then um just sort of a bit shocked realistically yeah I, well it's a great it's a great price point Isn't it? it really is I mean the combs and hairbands are such good quality so they're valued uh, to be honest it's, I, w I would happily pay sort of around 10 pounds for the just the combs and the and, and the, the hairbands. hairbands yeah probably a bit more really yeah yeah um, and still be getting a good price for the quality oh yeah so, absolutely you know it's exceptional it's astonishing yeah. isn't it it yeah, really it really is. is now well done to everyone who's already getting their hands on this that price point is truly astonishing if you love your low price kits well you're going to love this collection aren't you you really really are it is just sensational to have this in your collection to have this in your stash and actually we're going to mosey on over and see exactly what um lovely Gemma Crow has created but how many pieces have you made from this gem uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six feature pieces. Mm -hmm. I didn't go, I didn't do earrings or, or necklaces. I'll just show you. Um, this is, these are the gemstones I've got left. I hardly, Loads left. I've hardly touched the, the, um, mint kind of pearls. Wow. I've hardly touched them. So, um, obviously I've got the addition of the wire, but you can just see how far how that's far they a can go. huge amount you have left over that, isn't yeah. it it doesn't look much when it's in the bag but that's over half a strand of the mint pearls there oh it's a massive amount and that's just of those there's a huge yeah. amount in there and um, can i just ask you this headband that i've been wearing yeah. how much would we be looking at selling this for obviously i know it's dependent okay. on where and when but i, I would say for a minimum of around 70 
pounds and minimum. 70 yeah. pounds and look at the price point realistically of the entire kit. If you think that you have made this, and these are actually, we're going to be learning these techniques today, yeah. aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are, yeah. Um, you've got the matching necklace as well, which mm -hmm. I just think is sensational. Look at those as a pairing. It is just so, so beautiful. I think if you saw £120 for both those pieces, you wouldn't really think much of it. I don't think you no. would be thinking right. it's too much. No, absolutely. So. Especially at this time of year, you know, races. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've had Cheltenham, but the races continue right through to September. Right through, yeah. Even Chester hasn't really started theirs yet. Um, so it really is a market out there for yeah, it, isn't it? Absolutely. There? And proms. 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 Coming in. Well, the girls are getting ready for their proms already. Of course. Um, you know, so this is a really bright, vibrant these are bright vibrant colours of bronze Perfect as well for it take a look at this collection as well I love this pairing I think it's so beautiful what was your inspiration with this one it, do you know it reminds me of spring and Easter it, and it's funny because you'd think that it would be the bright pastels that would make, remind you of Easter but that reminds me of sort of you know the undergrowth in spring and you just start seeing things popping up underneath all the brine branches yeah. and in amongst the crispy leaves yeah and it just gave me that feel so it's quite an organic piece that when it grew it's gorgeous I absolutely adore it you've also really gone to town with your mesh as well haven't yeah, you yeah, on these two pieces here of course I mean that's mesh that's woven that one I've I've woven the mesh in between the teeth of the comb so that the comb gave me the structure that's fab isn't it and the mesh sort of filled the gaps which is great especially if you don't like weaving much and you're a bit lazy like you know, if you've done a lot of weaving, you want a break. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you can fill a, fill a large area with mesh in minutes, you know, so that's great. And that's exactly what we've done here, really, yeah. when you stretch it over that yeah. frame. I just adore that piece as well. Yeah, I think that one is, uh, that's very, I wanted to do the variety, the demure, and the quite sophisticated, that one, and then the fun and vibrant, um, you know comparisons really absolutely and you've used those natural pearls on this one can I ask you how much we'd be selling this one for approximately uh, do you know what? I think I might even go up a little bit because yeah. I think that that would be paired with your tweeds and in a different classification of, of um, you know of shop yes then. I know what you, you mean, mean. Do you know yeah, what yeah, yeah I know exactly you may even fetch more but I think the work involved may be around 40 pounds yeah but, but depending where you sell it of course, absolutely, more and, more and it is those natural pearls as well, yeah, which yeah. demands a higher price point. I absolutely adore all of these pieces. We've got loads to fit in for this time. Just to let you know, we will be doing that wire within the next half hour or so. And um, I have also got some things like Eslon coming up for you and some tools as well. And keep your eyes peeled because I have got another brand new in coming up for you very soon. So stay tuned. Where are we going to start with this today, lovely? Right. What's lovely about this piece is because the technique isn't really complicated I can take you right from the basics and I don't need to skip which is really nice ah. um, I'm not going to show you the twisting because for the necklace here for the actual talk I've twisted the wire together but that's coming up in the next demo which I which was going to be first so I've set it up so ah. that you get all the techniques through both demos brilliant love so it. Um, I'll show you twisting next time so okay. this time I'll show you a bit of gizmo in case you've never used it before and you've ah. never done it okay um, so yeah let's we, we can make a start so I'm going to show you how to create the flower so yeah. first we need um, gizmo coils and um, so making a gizmo coil and um, you can get lots of versions of this gizmo tool and it's basically a set of rods and if you've got the 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 basic one I've, I'm using those two rods that come in the basic okay. so anything you've got up from there you can do also Fab. Um, and you've got a rod that which we call a mandrel and you've got um, sort of a, a u-shape um, jig I suppose yeah. and the mandrel goes through the holes in the jig Fab. okay then you take your wire and you leave it on the on the reel and um, you can tuck it under your arm if you like or I usually let it drop to the floor at home and you take your wire and you wrap it around this little handle here can we see that there yeah I can see so we go round around like this and down mm -hmm. and then um, all you do then is it's nice and secure. The reason I've just tucked this piece downwards or upwards is because um, you just don't want it hitting your finger as you turn. Okay, good tip. So I just tuck it down out of the way and then you just turn the handle. And I generally, even if I only want a small amount, I generally do the whole 
whole rod and then I can cut it into sections. Because if you want less, you can always just snip a bit off, That's can't it. you? That's it. And you just turn and turn and turn. Anybody can do this. Sometimes if Tom sat with me talking, I'll get him just to sit and do this for me. Oh. Um, and he's, a, you know, he's only 10. Did Tom get you a Mother's Day gift? No, but he learned to make cups of tea. <gasps> So that he That's can make the, the best of gift of all. Yeah, I, I know. Oh. I haven't realised what I've been missing. Oh, <laughs> I adore that. So yeah, he learned to make cups of tea. What a sweet. Um, yeah, what and he was quite happy with that. And he did give me a little back rub last night. Bless him, on oh. my shoulders. <laughs> what a beauty! Oh, bless him. Yeah. Bless. So you're just winding it on and keeping yep. the tension, just to let you know as well that we don't actually have any uh, gizmos on the show today, oh. um, but we'll keep you posted and let you know when we do have those coming up. And also, I do have some wire, this wire coming up for you shortly, so if you need it, just stay where you are. Okay, I'm just going to show you a few things, just um, if, if it crosses over, if you find that you're doubling back on yourself, then all you do is just wind it the other way. Okay, good tip. And um, it will undo, and then you just carry on again. Fab. Um, Okay, take this off. Yes, and then we'll just, all you do is undo from the one end and slide the coil off. Now, some okay. people have trouble getting it off and you can, especially if you've been um, using them for a long time, you'll find they can get quite, almost feel like they're stuck on there, you'll never get them off. Okay. So this is how you do it. Leave tails that are at least an inch long on each end. Okay. I get asked this all the time. Um, pop your thumb on one end and your, th and your finger on the other or your thumb on the other and just pull, go the, in the opposite direction. Okay. That opens the coil up and you can then just slide it off. What a brilliant tip. Okay. I know a lot of people have issues with that because you yeah. can get your tension wrong sometimes yeah. or one reason or another. What a great tip. Or the tip. mandrels just get, you know, they get a slight key the yeah. more and more you use them. Of course they, they do. Of course. You know, the, the um, surface. But I find it also when you get to the end when you can't really pull it anymore. Yeah. If you just twist it in the opposite direction so that it's wrapped, it would just open that coil enough to give you a bit of space to wiggle it out. Great tip. Okay, so that, that will really help. Hopefully. Great tip. Thanks for that, Gem. If you want any uh, more tips or helpful hints off Gemma, she's here till five. Just text us in 6777. Okay, so what I've done is I've made the petals for my flower mm -hmm. and I've cut um, five of my purple coils. Yeah. Um, that are four inches long. No, three inches long. So I've got them here. Yeah, three inches. And then five turquoise that are two, uh, three inches and five of my. Um, uh, what's this called? Chartreuse. Chartreuse, which is two inches, okay? okay. So four, three, two. And that's going to create our flower. Then I'm going to take my reel of, basically, you can use any of the coloured wires that you've got. I chose the pink to use because it gave me a contrast. If it was seen, I wanted it to be vibrant, so okay. all the colours. So what I would suggest doing, save um, having to add in bits of wire and cut bits of wire, is thread all your coils onto your reel without cutting it off. Okay. So I'm going to start with the smaller ones because they're going to be the last petals I create. Yeah. So thread all five of those on. And because you're working off the reel you don't have to worry about them falling off or nope. using too much wire or that's anything right. do you? No that's it. Um, it's, it's frustrating when you come to you've only got a little bit of wire left you have to add another piece in. Yeah. And because this, wire, this flower has got so many layers of petals and and quite a lot of wire in it mm. because of the gizmo coils, it can become over bulky if you use too many pieces of wire. I see. So what I find is that um, keeping it to a minimum, uh, this was the, the best way of doing it. So, so you're with us on Friday. I, I told am. you about that brand new thing we've got in on Friday. You did. And what was your reaction? Oh, thank goodness for that. I've really wanted one and I can't find one at a reasonable price. And I know it will be here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tune yeah, in on Friday. In Friday. That's all I'm saying. Exciting. You really are, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm really looking forward to it. I want a sample to take home today. So you can <laughs> have a play <laughs> with play it. With we'll it, see what yeah. we can do. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've got everything threaded onto my reel, so okay. I don't have to worry about um, anything falling off. Um, and then what we're going to do is start by um, just pull out each one first slightly. Okay. So pull out the coil so it's just a little bit of a gap in between each of the each of the coils, coils around there yeah. and then fold it over it's almost like you're going to tie a bow so just make a loop and then twist it together okay 
So I've done, I think, three twists there. Okay. Then you'd put in your next one. And we want to remember to leave a space to twist so that, that these, these, so we call these arms, so that these arms are the same length. Oh, yeah. So remember to pull your coil out slightly first each time. Fold in again. Don't worry if they're slightly out of shape to start with. Put the both wires together or cross them over, it's up to you, and then twist down to meet the last twist. Okay. Okay. We keep going. You see, this one's a bit smaller. I can see, yeah. Um, and that is because I didn't stretch it out quite enough. So just let's, let's re stretch that one a little bit more. Whilst you're twisting all yes, those together, we have can. had people messaging in saying about the wire. We're going to do it for you right here, right now. There is a huge amount of wire in this collection. I mean a massive amount, over 200 metres worth. And uh, I think you're going to absolutely love the price point, especially if you do need that top up, if you do need that extra wire. The colours are perfect for this time of year. And I did promise you that we'd be kind of around the £50 price point. And when I said around the £50 price point, I did, of course, mean lower than £50. But that's what we've got here, really. You've got, you know, £50 worth of wire. But because it's designer inspiration, because it's jewellery maker, and because we love doing your bundles at great prices, this will be lower than you may well expect. Let's start off with the purple that we're seeing used by Gemma Crow right now. This is your purple coloured wire, 50 metres worth on this spool, which is again the spool that lovely Gemma Crow is working with. And this is your 0.8 mil that we have. It's a beautiful rich tone that we have working throughout that. I've then also got for you the chartreuse, which again, you've seen Gemma Crow thread on um, to her strand with the gizmo coil effect. This is the chartreuse, again in your 0.8. Both, all of these gauges that we're using, of course, are the ones that Gemma Crow has worked with, which means they are perfect for the designs we are creating here now. You could, I suppose, create this type of look with maybe a, a 0.6, but I suppose it would give you a bit of a different feel, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, it, it would. They, they they're not as well. They're not as chunky. Of course, and um, they won't hold the shape as well. Um, and you wouldn't wouldn't necessarily. These are so versatile. You can make jump rings with a 0.8. You can make um, findings with a 0.8. 0.6. You'd be risking it a little you'd bit. You'd be a bit, yeah, a bit risky, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I've also got in here that gorgeous turquoise colour as well. Perfect for this design. In fact, if I show you how these um, three colours are put together, you can see they've been used beautifully to create the flower. Um, and these are the ones that we've used to create this. So if you want to create that look, these are the ones for you to get your hands on. We have got that centre. Um, colouring there and that comes in the form of this gorgeous pop of pink as well and um, this pink I have in front of me is 0.4 in your fuchsia colour and you don't just have 10 meters worth of it oh no you actually have 30 meters worth of it in total so a huge amount there of that gorgeous fuchsia which again we have gizmo coiled through and that is in that 0.4 and lastly but by no means leastly I have got your baby pink as well and of the baby pink um, you are working with 50 meters worth again and it is a 0.8 for you so that's the one that we've used um, not only to give a shape in the top piece but also to give you those beautiful beautiful kind of swirls and prongs that come from this fascinating fascinator so you've got a massive amount in here truly 230 meters worth of your wire in total they're perfect colors they're beautiful appeal and they are what we've used to create this design your price point for the ever so essential wire should be Sixty-three pounds and sixty-five pence. What? <laughs> That's that is almost half price. Almost thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. This this should have been sixty-three. Well, well, sixty-four pounds then nearly, isn't it? Today, though, it's £34.95. pence. That is, what saving is that exactly? It's 30-something, isn't it? That is absolutely astonishing, astonishing price point. 
That is an amazing price point. We're looking at uh, uh, over £28, definitely. Definitely over £28 saving. Almost half price for you today. That is truly astonishing. Wire bundle, 230 metres worth at that price point. And these aren't tiny fiddly gauges. You know, you've got your 0.8s in there. Yeah. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing value. If you s And this is, this here, Yeah. is what I have left after making all my pieces, experiment pieces that go wrong and yeah. I have to... Uh, you know, throw away or <laughs> change into something else, and all my demo pieces and the two kits combined. Of course, because this, this spans left. over the second kit as well, doesn't it? Yeah, and I have all this left. So we talk about how much that one, if you were just to make that one fascinator, yeah. you've got the kit and the wire and you've paid for it. It's amazing. One piece. It is absolutely so fabulous value. Amazing value. Of yes. course, at that price point, you do have to be quick. And I also need to say to you, fabulous fashion. That price point, twenty two ninety five, is truly astonishing. Natural pearls, those gorgeous mint colour pearls. You have wire in that kit as well. Don't forget all of that mesh, the original mesh as well, which of course Gemma Crow is legendary for working mm. with. You know the original um, mesh that also comes in the storage pots as well that you. You can use time and time again and it's great because we don't actually do the storage pots with that mesh anymore do we so if you want to get your hands on that it's an absolutely astonishing astonishing price point it truly is at 22 pounds and 95 pence that's at the bottom of your screen and you will need those components to create these looks that you're getting here today so get your hands on them whilst you can because they work exquisitely well together the colors have been specifically thought out to go with this color range and it's great because i think because the wire is such a feature within this if you were to be working with huge bold pieces of quartzite or something like that, it would distract. The the gemstones we've got in that kit are stunning for this collection, so get it whilst you can at just twenty two ninety five. It genuinely, genuinely. If we were to take it any lower, well, we'd be losing money essentially. It is such a low price point. It really, really is. So get it whilst you can. Well done to everybody who has managed to getting very low in stock on both of those right now. Though thirty four ninety five for you today. Back with you, Gem. Right, I'm nearly finished this flower in between golf and the screen. And <laughs> being amazed by in. the price yeah. point. Um, there is one. There is something I would like to show you. So I just pop this one in. If you can see, I've put all the purple coils in. Yeah. I've put all the turquoise coils in, and yeah. now I'm putting the last set of coils in. Yeah. And you can see I'm positioning the petals sort of on top of one another, but mm -hmm. um, that will come as you, as you go anyway. You can manipulate it after. Okay. But um, if I show you how it comes together now, I've got a few opportunities left. So that um, the wire is coming up over the petal. I'm letting it sit just. Um, at the base of the petal b above it and bring the wires so that they form a loop and cross over where they meet okay. and then take my just thumb and finger and just twist that round just so that it holds it there. Now to get these positioned nicely if I just put another one here the petal's going to sort of sit just there and we want it to sit on top of this one. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is take my wire bring it down and in between the petals around those two and all the way around them that's going to secure those two together and then bring my white wire back up and then it's ready to put my petal in here I see all right yeah so you're guiding so, it around in yeah. that way then so I'm just Absolutely helping perfect. it to sit where I want it to perfect. so push the coil down to where the wire comes to the bottom of that petal bring it round cross it over allow it to cross over at the bottom and then holding it firmly, twist, and the petal will sit in place. Okay, so again, if I show you that again, so the wire comes down in between the two petals, up in between the next two, all the way around to sort of anchor the petals that came before together. Okay. And then back up to the top. Mm -hmm. Pull the coil out slightly, pop it down to the position there, and fold just easing it around yeah just pulling it around and these are so because the, the core of these coils is only 0.8 mm -hmm. it's really easy to manipulate plus it's really really soft as well this wire so they even if you find it's going out of shape a bit and it's not behaving don't worry because the manipulation can be done after anyway okay got you so I, I honestly don't worry if you have to hold it awkwardly so a lot of the time these things are about how you how you hold your, your pieces in place as you work. I see. And you only get that with practice and, and you can't really be taught it 
either because everybody has a different way of, I mean, you find you have a different way of holding your pen or your yeah. knife and fork. Or I know what you mean. So um, a lot of the time, the frustration when you're learning something new is about holding things in place. With this nice malleable wire, even if you do hold it a bit awkwardly, it's easy just to push it all back into place That's after. That's a really good tip. And it is great quality wire, isn't it? Yes. You can see even though you've, you've dismoed this, you've bent it into shape, you've put, yep. you know, something through the center, none of that color has come off at all. No. It's great quality. No, it's fantastic. It's Just fantastic. to let you know, I've got so many of these in baskets, we're starting to get a little bit worried that either something gone wrong with the internet, um, or that, or that possibly, well, what are we thinking? And has the internet gone down, or? We're not sure, essentially, there's just loads of you with it in your baskets. Please do check out, um, just so we can guarantee that you've got yours, because I'm so low in quantity now. Just loads and loads of people coming in and getting it at that amazing price point, almost half price. Um, so do check out those baskets, or else you will be missing out. So get it whilst you can. Okay, next yes. stage then, we're going to um, cover up, because it's a little bit untidy in the middle, so we're going to cover that up in a nice stylish way. Um, now you can, if you want to, and you can use gems out of your stash, you can do a cluster of gems or you can do a button even. button would look quite nice, it suits the style. Mm -hmm. um, but this, for this I'm going to use the wire again. Okay. So if you, you should have a shorter length and a, and a longer length coming out of the back. I've trimmed this so I've got a, a nice long tail to work with later. But when I started I had a bit of a tail, so I'm going to use that. If you haven't got this tail, don't panic, you can add another one in, you can just add a piece of wire, it's fine. What I'm going to do is bring it up to the front of the flower just by passing it through the center somewhere. Okay. But I do want it to come out centrally, mm -hmm. so take a bit of time to bring it up through the center of that of the flower. Okay. Okay. So it's up there. And I'm going to now um, spiral this piece of wire. I'm going to take my round nose pliers up to the tip of, of that piece of wire. Um, and don't worry about the length of it too much either. You want a minimum of, of this length, sort of, what's this, about six centimetres. But if it's longer, it's fine. You can trim it off after. Okay. Um, we'll see how this one turns out. So what I'm going to do is do a, a spiral. I don't want it too tight um, because I'm going to cover this spiral in another coil. Okay. Okay, so, but I do want it, don't want it um, too tight, but I don't want it too loose either. Okay. So um, if you hold your round nose pliers in that first loop that you've made and just turn your wrist very if you just do it quite slowly you can see that the wire just sort of wants to go into a circle so it keeps going and if you find it gets flattens out a bit on one side just um, reposition your your pliers give it a bit of a pinch and now at this stage it's probably a good idea to use your fingers because the pads of your fingers are you know make a nice curve mm -hmm. so we can do the rest of this by Pinching firmly with our fingers and coiling it right down. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So now we've got this coil here. If I can bend these out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. See how, how, how wicked you can be to it and it still oh, springs it's still back. Fine. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so I've got this coil here and what I want to do is um, thread my, co my gizmo coil onto it. So I'm going to start, in fact, I should have done this the other way, never mind, we'll go from here. Start threading, I've trimmed off that bit because it won't, it's too, it's too sharp, sharp an angle for me yeah. to, to get round. So what I'll do is I'll put that little inside loop in after. Okay. Okay. To do that. So now I'm going to take, this is the 0.4 wire gizmo, so it's really fine um, and works nicely doing these tight little coils. So thread this on, you're just going to, once it gets going, it'll slide on quite easily. So we just start threading, start pushing it in, you can see the coil moving round. You just sort of apply pressure in. Are you just easing that around? Yeah, it started off nice and easily and now it's stopping. <laughs> but it just guides itself around, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it will. You just whilst you're easing that on, just to let everybody know uh, that by the looks of things, I've got more of the wire in baskets than I do have quantity right now. So imperative that we're checking out. Um, well done. I've just had um, uh, Dublin has just checked out. Well done. Uh, so has Aberdeenshire and Norfolk. So well done to you. 
Um, just need to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that we are low on the stock of that. And actually, we're so low on it that we're probably going to have to take it off the screen right about now. We have still got some available. Once you lot check out, you're fine. Um, but just whilst our gems are uh, applying that on, we will bring to you a little treat here. Which one was it, sorry? The Aslan. The And. Have a little look. We've got in here for you Aslan. I've also got some of your mesh as well. Let's talk about the Eslon first off though. Uh, you've got that gorgeous Eslon which is a super fine cord, super sturdy, lovely smoothness to it, great for lots and lots of different mediums including your micro macrame and that micro kumahimo, keep your eyes peeled for that DVD coming soon. Um, but it is a beautiful fine um, cord that we're working with so it's great for you to get involved in your pieces and not only can we use it for things like um, you know your sewing projects your crocheting projects but also so for great things like your kumihimo as we've said um so it's a lovely uh, 70 meters worth in there it's the dark red a 0.4 engage so it's going to go through even some of your highest end gemstones i've then got for you some of your cocoa colored uh, wire mesh and that's 10 um 10 yards and it's a one mil in gauge. So if I show you that, it is finer than the one you will be getting in the kit. So if you've already got the kit or you want to get the kit, um, which is of course your 18 mil, this is, um, you know, it's quite a bit thicker. This is your one mil. Um, so you can work with them together. They're going to give you a really nice, uh, different look, I suppose. And again, you can use that in Kumi Humo. It's really funky. I then got for you, it's a lovely kind of pick and mix. I love the name of this. It is a pick and mix of treats. I've also got for you, um, your um, nylon monofilament as well super duper fine for you too great for going through those pearls especially if you've got the kit and it's those natural pearls in there it's just super strong and transparent um, threading material which is a really stunning great quality for you today that has got a length of about 70 meters worth um, oh is it no about 50 meters worth on that in total a massive amount I'm also bringing to you the gold in that mesh as well. Um, this mesh, is, what's the thickness on this one? Six mil. Um, so you've got one mil and you've got a six mil, you've got a 10 mil and you've got an 18 mil in this kit. So a great range we're giving to you today. That's in that beautiful gold and it does get the storage screw lid cap um, topper as well for you today. So that's everything that we have in here. You are getting your cocoa mesh, your gold mesh. You're getting that beautiful um, super max, um, the beautiful super strong um, monofilament and that Eslon. Your price point today should be 11.80. Kumihimo, Makame wire working all of those things we can use these in even in things like your sutash you can incorporate these as well um you just you, your general beading too fascinators we can use these with have we seen here and there's so much you can do with this collection add it today for just not 11 pounds 80 still a great price but we are rolling it down for you today. These are the essentials we rarely see all put together at an amazing price we rarely see. Seven pounds and 95 pence is your price point on this collection today. Well done to everyone who's coming in. Um, it is a, it's a lovely kind of collection because it's, it's the things we don't often see in small quantities. Often yeah. we have to buy a lot and therefore yeah. pay quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, or they come in alongside gemstones, which yes, you might not want. Which so you might not is, need. This is, yeah, a f sort of a fundamental background bundle, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. agree to that. Absolutely. Yeah. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Plenty of you coming in for this one. Um, Quantity-wise. I've not got that many, I've only got about 77, I know it sounds like a lot but you've got to think about all the people who are watching and realistically already 10 of those have gone and I've got loads in baskets so uh, do just check out when you get the opportunity to do so. Once you have checked out on that we will bring the kit back on which is your fabulous fashion with things such as those gorgeous natural pearls, that super beautiful original mesh as well, 7 95 for these. Back with you lovely. Back with me. I've. I'm sorry, I stopped when, as soon as you started getting the thought. I'm going to show you a different way because that, okay. was, that was quite difficult to achieve. So if I show you this way, it's really simple. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I've got that sticky happy piece of wire, that yeah. just like I had before, but I've straightened it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the spiral, but I'm going to start the spiral from the centre. Okay. Um, so that we, when we thread the coil on, we thread from the outside and coil inwards. So 
um, first to start off, pop your flat nose pliers in and make yourself a nice sharp um, 90 degree angle. Uh -huh. Okay. And then take your round nose pliers and you start your the, the start of your spiral starts right on that corner. Okay, so right where the where you've made that bend, you pop your tip of your round nose pliers there, mm -hmm. and that's where our spiral is going to start from. So if we pull the wire around and start to spiral from that point, it means that the wire, the end of the spiral, instead of being in the centre, is actually on the outside. Okay, so we keep pulling that round into a spiral shape, and again, you can use the pads of your fingers to help guide that into place. Um, I see. So this yeah. is going to make it easier because you're you're guiding it around the larger loop first, yes, and then to the smallest bit. I see. Yeah. So we're going to start here and just push it into I the centre. So I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit. Um, tightening up a spiral is really nice and simple if you hold it firmly in the middle where you started and then just twist your hands whilst holding the spiral flat. It will tighten the whole spiral up. Okay. So there we go. Um, difficult to see. I know at this angle because it's a bit messy in the middle here. If we can see that. There. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my gizmo again. This time, let's start on the end that I haven't used yet. And this should be really simple now. And push, push the gizmo in, and it should just ease, ease it with your finger round, around the spiral. I'm going to have to hold it in a different position so I can get it on. Oh, that's guiding around much easier. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just the angle I'm trying to do it so you can still see it. That's making it more complicated. Okay, keep going. If I, I can sort of, I'm near the end now, so I can sort of chop this gizmo coil off. Yeah. So if I find where the end of my wire is inside this coil, mm -hmm. and chop it off there. Yeah. Then I've got something that I can push. I can push against it now. So if now if I grab. You see the little w the core wire there. If I grab that, I can then pull the coil round, and it will it will go into go place around. much easier. Yeah. Okay. I see. So then we keep that coil there, and the little tail. If we just turn it back on itself, that will hold the coil on and hold it in place. Fab. And then we put our flower back together, and we've got a spiral That's at the centre. That's fab. And I think probably in the one um, that I've done for the fascinators, I've probably use a longer length of wire by the looks of that so maybe we go for around 10 centimeters rather than six I say give you a fuller spiral okay but um, you know they're all different effects and whatever you like best of course so now you just position your petals however you like and that's that's your focal point done so Wonderful. There's, there's the most complicated piece done easy peasy yeah love that so now you're quickly making the torque like I said I'm going to show you how to twist the wire together if you've never done that before. I've got a wire twister coming up for you later, later. yeah so I'll show you on the next demo for that one. Um, what I've done is I've twisted a length of wire that is um, long enough to go around my neck mm -hmm. for a torque, um, but also leave yourself a bit of space because if you think this is solid, solid piece, mm. and this if this is just say this is just big enough for my neck, if I then start putting something here, a flower here, that's going to be you know sitting right up onto my neck. I so see. Um, you may you need to be a little bit more generous when you're going to layer onto a torque. Okay. okay so good tip. Uh, add yourself a few inches to cater for that. So one end I've left um, bare. This is the end that I started twisting, and that end I'm going to create my loop with. Um, so what I'm going to do is take one of my wires down. I might as well take the pink one. Take the pink one down off to the side there. These two I've straightened out a little bit with my, either with your fingers or with your round nose pliers. And then I'm going to use my bell making pliers, just, or a pen, whatever you've got handy, just to turn a loop with these um, back down. I'm going to bring this pink wire just round again a bit more out of the way. Then we take those two wires together and just do one or two times around itself, just to hold it in place. Okay. Okay. Then trim those off and pinch pinch the wire ends in as much as possible. 
so they're not sticking out. Then that pink wire that I left out of the way is then going to cover these ends. Because that's the only thing with twisted wire is you've got lots of ends to finish. So where possible, um, use one wire at a time and then that way you can cover the last wire with the next one. So there, that goes around that wrapping with the green. And then I've just, all I've got, the only exposed end I've got now is this one pink. Mm. Okay, and if I just pop that inside the loop and cut it inside, there's no chance of that prickling my back of my neck. Okay, so that's inside the loop. Fab. So there's a loop in this end. And then for the hook on the other, very similar. I'm going to use one wire at a time um, to, to sort of tidy these wires up. So I'm going to take the pink one down a bit further and out of the way. Then the green, take one of the green ones and let's trim one down to sort of, I'm going to trim one down to about um, just under an inch and the other to about an inch, maybe a bit more. So there's a bit of a stagger. Okay. Take the tip of my rhino's pliers onto the tip of the shorter length of wire and turn a spiral. Yeah. Nice and tight. As tight as you can get this spiral on it, quite small. Give it a pinch so that it stays where you put it. Uh -huh. Then you do the same with the other one. But because it's a bit longer, it will sit sort of just on top of the last one when we've spiraled it round. Pinch. Spiral it down. And yeah. Allow them to sit on top of each other. Now if they're, they need twisting together again, just pinch them with your fingers and twist them. Okay. Okay. And then the pink wire we just use just to wrap those wires together again I and see. trim it off. off. So you've got like a decorative end Lovely. to your wires. Yeah. And then all we'll do is sort of, this can be the end of our hook now, these two, these um, loop, loop, these yeah, coils can be the end yeah. of our hook. So all we'll do is just turn them back on themselves make the hook as big as you like really and give it a little flick so you've got just a hook there then we'll turn that round and that can sit into Fab. our loop brilliant okay so you would make this talk um like this before you start adding bits to it okay, okay because that holds it in the shape you want it and you can see where you need to add things when it's in shape if you do it in a straight line suddenly you pick it up and you think, oh no, it's all in the wrong place when I, once I've drawn it around my neck. So here you sort of know that this is the, the centre of your neck in between your um, collarbones. Yeah. And then this would be sort of on, on your collarbone, on the collarbone there. Itself. Okay. So you can sort of visualise where everything's going to be if it's in a circle. If it's straight, you can't. You can't see. Okay, so now attaching the flower, I'm going to just pop that on there. And I've got that tail at the, that's left at the back. Mm -hmm. And the first couple of times I attach it, I'm going to attach it through, actually through the petals. Okay, so it's got some nice broad anchor points. If I just attach it um, straight on, it's got the ability just to flip around. Okay. So we want some broad anchor points. So we're going to attach in between the petals and where they splay out. So at this point here and this point here, and you've got a nice broad anchor. Okay. So it's less less manoeuvrability and we do that a few times to attach the flower and come either side and again don't worry if you pull things out of shape you can just pop them back after okay okay now then we're going to hide this we're going to pop this wire this is going to then house a few more coils because that's in place now it's in the right place. Yeah. And then this one, there's going to be the fronds. Fronds, is yes, that Yes, yeah, yeah. It's with the, you've got the beautiful crackle quartz um, on as well, yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I'll have put a shorter length, because these now can be cut up into little sections. And if you stretch them out slightly, um, you get more, more for your money then. Good tip. <laughs> well, you, you know, less, you have to make less coils. So stretch them out a little bit. Um, pop, pop one down sort of up to around here and then if you want to you can thread on one of your quartz so it sort of breaks up the the um, swiggles. Is fronds the right word? 
It's a great word. It is a really good word. I love that word. It was Sammy Wyatt Bender. It told is me really that. good. Yeah. Well, I love Brilliant. that. I usually call them tendrils, but I. Ooh, I like tendrils a good word too. <laughs> So you can Tendrils makes me think of tentacles, though. Yeah. Like Ursula. Yeah. Is that my impression <laughs> of Ursula then? Apparently. I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to let that do a nice arc there, and wrap the wire around it a few times just to anchor it in place. Now I might use this one to pop in another, another frond. Okay. Yeah. So trim it down, stretch it out a bit, pop it onto your wire, and then what we're going to do is lay this one in. Now I want a bit more shape, so I'm going to sort of do this a lot, you know, wiggle in and out. So I'm going to just bend it so it's like an S shape. If in doubt, do an S shape. S shapes always work because they're balanced, you know. I know what you mean. So if in doubt, do an S. Okay. So we're going to pop that there. Now you might want to come underneath. That might give it a little bit more detail as well. Yeah. And attach with a few wraps. And I think you'll just you'll just cut to know whereabouts. Now this that's a little bit high. That's going to be almost to the back of the neck. So what I'm going to do is just drag that down a little bit. And this is how this next bit works. It's literally by eye, ah. just thinking, does that work there? No, maybe not. So I'll drag it a bit further down. Mm -hmm. Or if it's too long, you can just put a little twist in it. Um, so if I show you one more with the loopy bits, and then really, the rest is up to you Fab. to just um, yeah. lay it out. So. Okay. So just to remind you that at the bottom, we are so low on that pick and mix. I mean, once everybody checks out, single figures low in stock on it. Uh, just to remind you that in there, we had the mesh, we had the Estlon, we had your monofilament, we had two sets of your mesh, uh, $7.95. I've got so low stock opportunity on that pick and mix essential, so do treat yourself if you wish. We're now adding on more of that pink wire, which was in that bundle. Yeah, so all I've done is cut a long length, um, what's that, maybe half a, half a metre long, and I've threaded it um, underneath and wrapped it around. I see. Just once or twice, just to keep, just to hold it. And I'm going to leave one tail coming out of this side because I do want some detail over there too. And one this side, which I'm going to use now. So of those sizes, we're probably looking at about 25 centimetres on each side, but yeah. I suppose it's not too specific, is it? No, it's, it's not too specific. What you'll do is you'll do something and then that will inform what you do after that. Got you, yeah, yeah. So, and that's how they sort of grow. So just stretch it out a little bit again, just to give you a bit more, bit more um, working. A bit more of a working length for yeah, you. Yeah, that's it. So to do one of the one of those loops, yeah. If you sort of have a rough idea where you want the loop to be, so I'm going to say it's where my finger is. Okay. This one. Yeah. So I just put my finger there. That's going to cause a bit of resistance. Yeah. When I pull the wire around and then you're just letting that sort of guide itself around yeah. as it sort of directs you I suppose yeah. in a way <laughs> isn't it? that actually that made scared me, me. <laughs> <laughs> was Whoa. that Tarzan yeah wow yeah. that was uncanny <laughs> um if you've just tuned in it means that we have got a new in for you and it is this oh, that's for me as well that is for yeah. you as well. <laughs> that one's mine too. Um, you challenge. Now, you actually Gorgeous. picked this yeah, to go that. because if you tuned in earlier, we did have that brand new strand. We've got four brand news in today. We're doing this one at 20 past. The next one's going to come um, in just over an hour at 22. And this is one that Jen picked herself to go with that opal. I really just want to ask, why would, did we go for this one? Um, and it was so precise. We showed you a whole sheet, and it was this one. Oh, love that. I mean, I love bronze light anyway, but I think the colours go nicely with the opal. If I put them together. Yeah. And I, that was guesswork, because I hadn't seen oh, them. Yeah. So, yeah, they work nicely together. Um, this is that opal as well. It will come in at the bottom of your screen in a moment, uh, if you want to get your hands on more of those. Um, so it was. It, you just thought perfectly together. Yeah, and I love the shape of them. It's an unusual shape. It's not, you don't get you know, those triangles very often, and they're great for spears, they're great for tapering, they're great for 
pointing your eye in a different direction, even if they're not the feature themselves. Ah, so that's a nice point, actually. Have you been watching that BBC painting programme? No, but I did see it on Catch Up the other day, and I thought, shall I watch that? Yeah, I really yeah. like it. It's really, yeah, really good. But they were talking. Yeah, it is. It is really good, actually. Um, they were talking about how in paintings, you know, your eye gets guided by things. And actually, you saying that is mm. right. Sometimes you want to almost add interest to your pieces, so you don't just stare at one point. Yeah. So can these help with that? Yeah, I should definitely. They'll definitely, you, you know, they'll definitely point when. In one of my workshops, we talk about um, flow, and it, flow is always about direction. Yes. So you have to have everything sort of in the same direction. Now, you can have um, undulations within that, yeah. but so long as the points show show a flow, yeah. so that, that would give you a very clear marker of whether your piece was travelling in the right direction then, if the, if the movement was right. Oh, I love that as an idea. Mm. And is that the sort of thing that runs through your mind when you're creating pieces? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly? And, yeah, it's, it's probably the most prevalent thing in my design, I suppose. Really? Yeah. You yeah. can actually see that. Now you've said it and you've kind of pointed out, I can see that now in your pieces, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So this is going to be perfect for that then. If you do want that idea of kind of effect and flow to your pieces, it almost actually, now you said it in that way, it almost gives you, your pieces a, a, a storyline, a tale, a way in which to yeah, look through them. Yeah, it, it helps you manipulate the, or even in as far as display, when you're setting up a display, you right. need to manipulate the viewer so that they look where you want them to yes so you know you, you know so arrows are perfect for that you know you don't see arrows in windows and on street signs for no reason they are pointing you somewhere of course so you know it's just the way it is so this is going to be an essential to add to your designs and really think about what what Gems just said and when you get these home maybe think about that think about using these as an arrow point to guide people's eyes where you want them to and um, kind of look on your pieces because don't get me wrong sometimes you do just want you know one center focal piece but now and again especially if you're going for a, you know piece you've really put thought care time and effort into you don't want one piece to uh, section to stand out more than another and these can help you with that as a, as, a, as an ethos I suppose to your making so get these home and really enjoy them it is a brand new strand of bronzite 130 carats worth of your triangular arrow points and they are 10 mil your price point today is just seven pounds and 95 pence for you I genuinely think that is astonishing don't forget with these not only have you got that directional effect to them it's going to add flow to your pieces the great thing as well is you've got that sub metallic effect running through the surface juxtaposed with that kind of silk like effect I suppose of each of them internally but also the other wonderful thing about these I have to say is it is bonsai and it's got that gorgeous unisex feel we all know that the androgynous look is massive at this season when it comes to you know the tailoring of, of male and female suits and clothes great pair of cufflinks these would make a beautiful ring you could be able to do with these again unisex and not all gemstones can necessarily offer us that to us especially when they're faceted but this one absolutely does and absolutely can and at that price point it's a gemstone we don't see often enough at all and at that price point it really is a true cheap treat because you're getting so much from this strand you really really are a double effect naturally you're getting a beautiful workable strand that's going to add that kind of lyrical outline I suppose to your pieces as well £7.95 this is a sensational strand and for me bronzite is one of those gemstones which you don't really appreciate until you really get to see it for yourself do you know what I mean yeah, about that Jen? yeah absolutely it, it doesn't you can't see the depth of it yeah. on the screen you can and it looks sort of much more flecky speckledy on the screen yes. than it does in real life it's much more that fleck and speckle that you can see on screen is more when you look at it here is more depth it's more but depth you're, you're seeing a much right. more 2d image of of what we actually see with our you're eye absolutely right and it gives you that almost chatoyancy as well as the depth doesn't it yeah, it's it just beautiful effect we are going to be pairing this in the challenge with that ethiopian opal which was also a brand new strand and it's at the bottom of your screen get these two and um, we will be showing you exactly what the extremely talented gemma quo is going to do with these two together i think this is a beautiful again unisex bundle really for a challenge it's great isn't it 7.95 for the bronze and that gorgeous opal at the bottom of your screen was at a launch price offer of just 14.95 the original price of this is 17.95 so get it on its launch price offer whilst you can at that price point okay lovely okay. lady i'm with you 
Okay, well, we're nearly done with, really. There's only one more thing I need to show you. Fab. And that is um, what to do with these ends once you've added all your tendrils and fronds and um, anything else you want to call them in. Just trim your wires down to around just over an inch. Mm -hmm. You can go bigger if you want bigger spirals. And then just take those tips um, and use your pli your rhinos pliers just to sp do a nice little spiral and um, just tuck them in onto the frame. Now I generally do my spiral to the to the point where the wire finishes. You can see the best way to show you here. My wire ends there. I've spiraled down to it. I can't spiral any further. Um, but what I then do is I take the spiral and I flip it over because then it covers the wrap. Okay, so just done the spiral all the way down as far as I can and then flipped it over. If now you're at that angle, if I can, I don't know if you caught it at that angle, I'll show you again. So there's my spiral. Yeah. I spiraled it down as far as it could go yeah. here and then just flip it over, push it down my thumb and it covers Perfect. the wrapping. And then I haven't got any, it doesn't, it shows, it doesn't really give away how it works, which I is what, what I like really. Perfect. And that's it. And that, ladies and gents, is how you create this beautiful, beautiful piece. And in fact, this beautiful pair of jewellery. Yeah. Perfect for your race day, a glamour, perfect for those special events. And perfect for just a little bit of a spring in your step, really, yeah. isn't it? Uh, well done to everyone who's come in and got all of the goodies you need to create these pieces. They are sensational. They truly are a fantastic pairing. Um, thank you so much for showing us that gem. And Welcome. whilst you're here, I okay. need to ask you about something. <coughs> Last in stock opportunity on this for you today. And Gemma Crow, I know that this is the type of tool you work with time and time yeah. and time again, isn't it? I wouldn't be without advice. I mean, you, 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 you'll find you need advice when you didn't know. I mean, I had advice for metalworking, but I find I use it more and more for, for all sorts, you know, doing my charm bracelets, just doing um, fine wraps or anything. You'll find you will use it. You think, oh, that's handy. I can use that instead of trying to grip it with my pliers. So yeah, it's a really useful tool. Um, I haven't worked with this one, but it, it, I think it's very. It looks very user friendly. It looks, just, yeah. I mean, it's simple. That that clamps onto your table. There's your clamp. You can rotate it. It's it's not going to take much figuring out. So that's always useful. Absolutely, it's really simple for you to use. You can see that the this section's rotating, which I suppose can help you get the angle you need for yeah. your certain pieces. Yeah. Um, it's really easy. You've got the large um, screw section, which is you, you know you can see that I'm not kind of I'm just doing it with one finger. It's really simple to do, and that's kind of main uh, partly due to the quality of the the screw itself and the, the the width of it. But also you have got that large kind of movable section, so you can really have that purchase point on these if you wish you've got your teeth in here which we can change the size of and what would we need to change the kind of size of this for um we're just clamping different things in i mean even if you're doing your own jump rings for example some of the most simple thing you'll do with it um if you pop a piece of leather or a piece of fabric in there and then you can open this and close this to the width of your jump rings and just grip it so you can saw so that's one of the most basic things you might use it mm. for um and it means you can do nice long lengths at, at, at once with it. Um, yeah, you might want to grip um, a ring, for example, in place whilst you set a stone. Of course. Um, so, you know, there's, you'll need to adjust the width because obviously your gauge of the wire are different. Depending you're, on what you're working yeah, with. Yeah, your sheet metal's different, or you, you might want to grip a, you know, a ball of metal or anything, you know, you'll just yeah. need, to, you'll need to adjust it. Absolutely, yeah. and in fact, on Friday, we're going to be talking about quite a few things that this could be yeah. essential for, really. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Now, I know that you don't have this one, and I know that you haven't seen this one before. Mm -hmm. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. So, am I right in presuming you don't know the price? I have no idea. So, if I give you Can kind I of, have, yeah, yeah weight it, you know, it. feel it out. Yeah. Because I, I presume weight is a very important thing with this. Well, well, yeah. The sturdiness, I mean, the sturdiness should I say? Should I say? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be sturdy. Yeah. It's got to feel all the hinges have got to feel like they're not slipping. You know, yes, that I know no exactly play. what you mean. Yeah, yeah, so, I know exactly. Yeah, so you want to know if you clamp it in this position because that's what's working for you. It's going to stay there. It's going to stay there. You know, so, what price point are we going to imagine for this if we were to buy this on the high street, say? Um, around. 
25, 30 pounds. About the 25, 30 pound price point. And yes. you've obviously but got... <laughs> I'm scared now. You're it? worried I'm going <laughs> to say, say like 40, 50. isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. um, I want genuine reaction to this price point, please. Your price point today is 7.95. <laughs> okay. That's very, very good. <laughs> But not only that, like convenience, like this is this is steel, so you can actually like just say you were stamping, you were just popping something in there and holding it, and then you think, oh, I'll just stamp it. So you you've can, got it all there, I suppose, yeah, haven't you? Because yeah. you've got the section here to stamp on, and yeah, it's brilliant. Seven ninety-five. Fantastic. Very heavy. It is, isn't it? Sturdy, yeah. really sturdy. Your names have got off my screen on this. It's your last stock opportunity, unsurprisingly so at that price point, seven ninety five. Now we are heading over to a very quick break and then we're gonna talk to you about some of your natural beauties. Um so do stay tuned, we'll be back very shortly. If you love classic jewellery, then why not come and join guest designer Gemma Crow on our vintage workshop. Gemma will guide you through various beading and wirework techniques, which will inspire you to create timeless designs from a bygone era. The full course includes a selection of wire, a selection of findings and charms, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools and equipment, a buffet lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. Have a blast from the past and take home some amazing designs. For further information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Download the Jewellery Maker app today. You can watch our Jewellery Maker shows live. View all the details of the item that is currently on air as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Here at Jewelry Maker, we like to provide you with the best possible service. Our friendly and helpful call centre team are on hand 24 hours a day to assist you with your shopping or any other queries you may have. We also have a dedicated Facebook help team who are on hand seven days a week between the hours of 7.30am and 10.30pm. Jewelry Maker, making your experience the best it can be. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewelry Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Makers Viewers Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewers Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, welcome back to Designer Inspiration. My name is Rebecca Reddykin. It is a gorgeous Monday and to start off your week with style. It is the ever so stylish and truly lovely. Gemma Quo! Hi Quo! Hi, I didn't, know you? Com I didn't know you were coming over to me then. Oh, did you? <laughs> I'm sort of throwing you off then. Ever so stylish and I thought... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! I didn't expect you to follow it with Gemma Crow. Oh, stop! You're so well. Like, well, let's be honest. I wasn't talking about Ben, was I? Look at him. Ben's really stylish. He's super stylish, yeah. but he looks like the nuke of the north. Are you not boiling? I don't know why, but I put it on and it was just like... 
I you put it on and you just wanted a little hood hug. Yeah, I like that. It's quite nice. I like that. You, you look really lovely. Even. You look lovely. Um, I've got some natural beauties coming up for you right now. Now, what does that mean? Okay, well, it means we're going to be focusing on organics and gemstones, which are completely and absolutely untreated when it comes to the gemstone treatments that we're used to seeing now a lot of people find this very important when they're buying gemstones especially when they're buying specific types i would say um we're going to be looking at natural gemstones and what that essentially means is there will have been no heat applied to these gems that happens a lot there will have been no irradiation there will have been no um, injection there will have been no triplets or doublets any of those kind of treatments that we know and are really renowned and are completely and absolutely fine to use pretty much everybody um, in the gemstone world uses them and um, we will be looking at the natural given by mother nature pieces just remember for me as well because I know when we're dealing with natural gemstones the prices will be hiked in general it's a general rule because essentially if we get a gemstone out of the ground and we want it to look a certain way we can do that by creating a treatment but to actually get them out of the ground in such a beautiful fashion that we're happy to work with them in that way is such a rarity that the prices on average of course depending on gemstone are around a 50 percent price point higher rays than you would normally expect for your treated so we're going to give you something truly special in this section i've got loads to fit in so i need you to get on the phone as soon as you see it and you love it i've got lots to fit in in the next 10 minutes so let's get going natural beauties i'm starting off with sensational gemstone i mean truly wonderful this is your ametrine but this is natural anahi ametrine when we're talking about natural ametrine always check always check because don't forget not everybody has to tell you that their gemstone is naturally or uh, natural or treated we tell you that it's treated because we like to be a completely and absolutely transparent company at uh, ametrine though vast majority of the ametrine that we're actually bringing to you recently is treated they used to believe that you couldn't actually heat treat ametrine up until well a fair few years ago now but we are aware that you can create faux colored ametrine this isn't that the vast majority of ametrine we've been bringing to you on jewelry maker in the last few months has been treated so always keep your eyes peeled the way you tell whether or not it's been treated is looking at the bottom of your screen if you're watching on the tv around here in brackets there's usually a h um, and that will mean it's heated and often it won't have that go-to location as well of bolivia when we're dealing with um, your ametrine it's from a stunning location this is a picture of the mine itself i think it's so beautiful you can see that picture of that vast landscape at the bottom. That's actually a picture of the top of the mind. Can you see where the two hills kind of come in from either side in the foreground? That flat area there is actually the entrance to the mine. It's in this beautiful, tranquil location. And you can also see your top two pictures there is, is um, the mine itself. And you get these kind of pockets of your ametrine. But the ametrine in that area, because it is so rare and it is so sought after, when we find the pockets, they are tiny, tiny pockets. Your price point today should be. We do not reduce the price of Bolivian Ametrine often at all. We are only today because I have to honor the last price point. We didn't realize that until, um, well, until about an hour or so ago. Uh, we do have to honor the last price. £14.95. This is natural, real deal ametrine. This isn't a piece of amethyst that we've added 400 degrees to to give it a little bit of a citrine glow. No, this is Mother Nature's intention. This is how Mother Nature said, Do you know what? I want the gemstone of creativity of amethyst. I want the gemstone of happiness, which is your citrine. And I want to pair them together in this unique and individual way. Loads of you coming through for this. Well done to Aussie, everybody. Lovely ladies and gentlemen, you have got yourself a true treasure of the world here. It comes from the, one of the most tranquil and appealing minds in the world. And it is that once one locational Anahi Amatrine location that we would expect in Bolivia. Get your hands on it whilst you can. You can see I've got 21 left, but I've got more than that. In, uh, uh, sorry, I've got, I've got less than nine baskets, but I have got plenty in baskets. I'm looking at about oh, 12 possibly in baskets at the moment. All oh, people are checking out now. Well done, everyone who's checking out. There are people coming through on the phone, though. When you are looking at your Amatrine, this is my warning to you. All Always check whether or not it's your natural 
um, Bolivian Amatrine because that's how you know you are getting the most sought after of all Amatrines in the world. 15 left, plenty in baskets. Check out because that is a low price, last chance opportunity. Well done, absolutely everybody. I'm bringing to you now, I wish I could talk to you about this for years, but I haven't got time. I need to bring to you the most sensational gemstone in the world. It's my favorite green gemstone. I absolutely adore it. It is one of the rarest gems in the world. It is your Savorite Garnet. Take a little look at this because it is an increasingly, increasingly stunning but diminishing gemstone when i talk about a diminishing gemstone i'm talking about the fact that the yield of this has gone down so so dramatically in the 80s so so obviously you know not that long ago uh, talking around sort of 25 ish years ago in the in the in the 80s um, of this gemstone there were just over 40 mines um, in, the, in this kind of African location in which we get this. So there's kind of 40 mines in the sense of 14 patches, 14 areas in which we went to get our hands on this. Um, and that was kind of, you know, 25, 30 years ago. No, not a long time ago. Now, there's not f over 40, there's about four. This has diminished so dramatically. Um, when um, Steve went to the um, the Hong Kong Gem Show recently, um, uh, literally a few weeks ago, talking to mine owners, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they were saying that the yields have gone down so dramatically. And don't forget, this is going up in popularity because Tanzanite One, and I've talked to you about this a lot, but Tanzanite One, the company, have looked and asked and inquired about taking this on as the next big gemstone because they're well aware that Tanzanite's going, going, gone. This is going to be for them the next gemstone, and we know that for sure because not only have we seen a massive price price hike in this at that Hong Kong show, I'm talking price hike Steve was saying of, of over 300% for this gemstone, way over 300% just in the last couple of months because we know Tanzanite's going, going, gone and we know Tanzanite one wants to take this over, but also not any of the prices hiking, but he was saying that when he went to the Hong Kong show, he um, saw a buyer who had in his collection a five carat piece so an individual five carat piece of this but it was not for sale it was part of his own private collection because he knew that he was going to be one of the only people in the world who owned a five carat piece of this gemstone because that's how rare this is that's how spectacular this gemstone is and that's how sought after this is you've got 60 carats worth here we're going to see a price increase we're already seeing that for us trying to put in offers for our shipments to come in in the next six months. Today though, we're getting it at your lowest price. You can imagine 14 pounds and 95 pence for a gemstone that if Tanzanite One do take this over, like they're suggesting they might, like we've been told that they might, and they may well have you know, put in offers and, and you know been stiffing around, let's say, for when Tanzanite does go. If that does happen, you know it's gonna happen to Bryce. As soon as the gemstone is promoted by such a large company, as soon as the gemstone is known as much as Tanzanite is, you know what happens the price hikes and think about it this has got so much in common with tanzanite it's found in the same area it was found by accident just like tanzanite was it's even got the same companies interested in sniffing around it's even had mines closed down like tanzanite has it's one of the rarest gemstones in the world and you're getting a double strander of it today at 14.95 i'm giving you insider information when i say that this price um, the price of this is said to skyrocket and i absolutely mean it i have to be very careful in what i say about it but by the looks of things things have suggested that the price of this can skyrocket any moment uh 14.95 well done to you everybody bringing over to you now a natural strand of something i know you're going to love and adore can i just ask her a quantity 67 this is going to go and fly out of the door because the luster quality is amazing it is natural pearls but not just any old strand of natural pearls it's multi-colored natural strand get on the phone 0800 604 605 it is one of your favorite organics in fact it is you voted it your favorite last year but look at the quality of this the luster point is sensational the smoothness is epic the multi-colored effect is truly natural you've even got some of those tahitian like tones in there actually haven't you you've got a beautiful grade of colors in here um have you got that slide for me to do with the color lovely um ryan this is to show you the coloring uh, of natural pearls 
At the bottom, the lowest one that you're about to see on your screen is kind of the lower end. So you've got those gorgeous dark cultured pearls all the way up to the light pinks. You've got that full range pretty much on this strand, actually, haven't you? Um, it says that, um, you know, in their jewelers call the range of color that pearls offer a palette of colors. And boy, oh boy, you have the entire palette here don't you these are natural colored pearls formed by mother nature don't forget for me when you see pearls and they say dyed that doesn't actually mean they've just been dyed never ever ever forget that for me it's not like most gemstones that when we say you know the for example oh i don't know that strand of whatever has been heated it will have just been heated no with pearls if you see dyed you have to take into account and into your mind because pearls are one of the most worked and treated organics on the planet you have to take into account if you've got a dyed strand of pearls it won't have just been dyed it will have been bleached it will then have been irradiated it will have been polished as well on top of that um, and, and there can have been more in there so if you see dyed then you need to presume there's at least one of the treatment that's gone on ahead of that if not two or three um, your price point for natural pearls is usually extortionate because let's face it we've not been able to bleach these to make them nice and pure and, and kind of have an even color which is easy enough for us to do and low cost for us to do um, but we've also not been able to you know dye these um, and kind of give you the color that you might want or that you might be looking for and the reason we don't have to is because mother nature's worked so hard to give us this it's one of the most sought after of all forms of pearls it's your natural multicolored strand your price point today just 17 pounds and 95 pence for natural multicolored pearls that is sensational that is a price point that we would not expect to see you know in in your jewelers in in those high-end stores this is the type of look and type of effects that you might see on the big names on those catwalks on those fashion shows and do you know what i have to show you something that i think these are going to go exceptionally with you're not going to believe the size of this strand <laughs> oh my gosh They're coming up later. Genuine pearls. Pearl. Yeah, it's a real pearl, it's not a shell pearl. They're huge, aren't they? They're massive. Massive. <laughs> but look, a natural strand of coloured pearls and some of the largest strands of uh, pieces of pearls I've ever seen. They're coming up for you later on. They'll be up in the um, something a little bit different section which will be taking place just after that second designer inspiration so do stay tuned for those ones well done everybody last stock opportunity i've got about three or four left and um, so well done to Abzi, everybody who's got your hands on those pig p27 is your code and it's 17 pounds and 95 pence for you i adore those really gorgeous it's time for your designer inspiration um Gemma Corey, what are we expecting from this section lovely um vines and ooh, ooh, different a different way of using the combs can i put that headpiece on please just whilst i'm selling this so that it makes yeah. me feel like i don't know is it mary queen of scots i'm thinking yeah, of yeah i think maybe you are i had princess leia in my mind when i made it but then i pulled the pulled them together and do i look like a tudor finally <laughs> How long have I been telling you that I want to look exactly like Queen Elizabeth <coughs> the first? I love it! Can I adjust you? Yeah, go on, adjust me. Okay. Can I adjust you? You were going to say, what? Anne Boleyn? Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's comfy, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some little prongs in. I just want to set it further back. Oh, yeah. Lay it down. I, can't, I don't want to mess your hair up. So it's, it's more crown like. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel even yeah. more crowny now. <laughs> that, that, that's apparently my, my kind of regal pose. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love this. I never want to take it off, but I'll have to. Um, you have got designer inspiration, floral elegance here. And um, we're going to be looking at lots of pieces for you today, included interesting ways to use these your hair combs and your hair bands we're not just going to be seeing these hair bands as pieces uh, for the head we're going to be seeing them as talks and also we're going to be seeing these hair grips for actually pieces like you're seeing on my head and um, i've then got for you in here four strands i love this so much this is your frosted strand of the crackled quartz beautiful drop effects on these they're giving you a really nice matte effect to each of these which is beautiful to juxtapose with those flowers they are your wonderful 
your wonderful quartzite five petal flowers 14 mil on those i've also got a strand of that gorgeous shell pearl as well in here these are your 10 mils and they are gorgeous high shine effect they're really beautiful aren't they they've got that high-end elegance appeal to them really pretty and i've got to say for you as well i think they go beautifully with those natural color pearls we had as well they go sensationally don't they if you wanted to add a little bit of subtlety to these then you most certainly could i'm going to add a little pop of color though as well this is your blue agate and it is 20 carats worth of those faceted pieces it's nice to have a little bit of sparkle a little bit of freshness to this it almost gives it a different depth which i quite like it you could make it a little bit kind of winter-esque looking but also it is that lovely kind of sunshine blue as well if that makes sense you know when the sun shines through the sky and it's that nice rich sunshine sky blue and um, it gives you that appeal as well i think these uh, gemstones look stunning together don't you they really are gorgeous. You've got so many different pieces. You've got the smoothness and the elegance um, of those five petal flowers. You've got that pearlescent-esque appeal when it comes to the shell pearl as well. You've also got that juxtaposition with the with that kind of internal interest of the of the crackled quartz, but then it's got that matte frosted effect, which gives you a really nice feel. But I've also got sparkle when it comes to the facets as well. One thing that's important to point out about these ones as well that are actually on my headband is if you are going to be creating headband pieces like this because if you're going to be wearing this you'll probably want you know a nice kind of dramatic hairstyle won't you of which we'll probably be using quite a bit of hairspray these are you know imperative for this design then please don't think for a moment about using your real natural colored or gorgeous big bold pearls for this because as soon as you get hairspray near them you will see discoloration you will see abrasion you will see dimples appearing in those pearls so if you want a look like this then you are going to need those gorgeous sturdy shell pearls to get your hands on I've also got your threading pack too which is great to have we don't often have our threading pack in designer inspiration kits but it's great when we do I'm sure a lot of us are running low on them in here you have got the beading thread sometimes known as tiger's tail as well essentially what it is if you don't know it's lots and lots of tiny pieces of wire with a lovely coating to give them strength and shine you've also got elastic in here does what it says on the tin at the top and you've got your monofilament which is a super fine but super strong durable piece great for your little gemstones like this agate your price point today for all of this is not going to be 36 pound 15 but it is a great great price point we're going to take this as low as we can without getting fired <laughs> are you really i'll be completely honest with you when we were upstairs earlier on um, we have our pre-production meeting where we essentially talk through all the products kind of what order we're going to do themes we're going to have price points we're going to go to price point we agreed on this 10 pounds under which is great we're actually beating that now though 24 pounds and 95 pence for you on this today that is so much lower than we would normally have been able to go to it is a great price discount but also don't forget for me that that price point you saw earlier will not have been your RRP because one of these strands have been seen recently at a lower price point so realistically you should have been paying closer to the kind of well almost 40 pounds Helena was saying if, if it was all at its RRP price so well done to everyone who is coming in and getting that do you know what treat yourself today because these are going to last and last and last because there's no strand in here that's off-putting if that makes sense there's no bright bold strand which you could think oh I could use it with that and that but not much else all of these are versatile strands and even if you wanted to break this kit up completely and just use it in a real different variety then you absolutely could just if you have just tuned in um, well done to everyone who's already got your hands on that if you have just tuned in I've got loads of treats coming up at 22 Pete's going to be making his magical noise at 22 um, magical noise because we've got another new in are you going to be on your break Ben or Ryan what what kind of noise are you going to make we'll, we'll have a think <laughs> hello Gemma Crow 
know, you, you smelling lovely and like throat sweetie. I've got my honey and lemon. Oh bless you. And my throat sweet. Oh you I'm trying to it. time it so that it would be almost dissolved by the time I was in. Oh it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a herbal um, one. It's nice, well, I like it. You've <laughs> made absolutely loads of pieces here. They are all sensational. And um, just to let you know, if you have just tuned in, we've already launched the wire to this, but I will be relaunching that for you very soon. And um, I have got loads of pieces coming up for you to keep you uh, on your toes and entertained today. Mm. Do you want to have a little nosy at some of Gemma Gross pieces? Because they're sensational. Um, what was your inspiration behind this lot? It was, the, I mean, I'm in Gloucestershire, so race week is everywhere in Gloucester. Of course it is. Because, you know, and you, you can't get around, so you, and you see people getting onto the train in the morning, they've got all their, you know, all their um, head pieces on. So it is, it is, you know, been a real source of inspiration and Stunning. and everything so yeah and also like I've got the little crocuses coming up in the garden oh, snowdrops and yeah you know and it's the, those colors it is but I tell you what's what's funny what's interesting is when I opened my kit at home I opened it amongst the backdrop of all those colorful wires in that oh, bundle yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's funny how those those have um, sort of bled into my designs, designs. because when I'm looking at it over on the desk over there and you're presenting it, I, I've got a completely different, different idea of what wow. I would do with it. it. It feels much more subdued and more calm yeah. than I've made it look here. So it, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You, know, you put it with another colour and suddenly... And it gives you a completely different way to go. Yeah, it changes. Uh, they are just absolutely stunning, stunning pieces, I've got to say. Um, I adore as well how you've used the head pieces in different ways. Use it as a talk on the final yeah. piece. Yeah, I mean, it, the, you take off... This um, little end piece on your um, hairbands will snap off because it's brittle where it's been bent and formed. Yeah. But once you've taken that bit off, you can curl the ends. You have to do it slowly and, um, you know, you have to use quite a lot of pressure, but you can get them to curl in or out. Got you. But these little bits will snap off first. So yeah. don't be... So don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed if these little, these little bits... Good tip. So, which piece are we going to be learning to create today? I'm going to take you right through the brace, this bracelet here. Fab. Because that's got all the techniques on for the necklace as well. Yeah. Um, and we're going from the with the twist tool as well. So Wonderful. Nice. Thank you, Pete, for moving that head for me. I absolutely adore you. That oh, is what brothers are for. That I is forgot. what brothers are for. Um, <laughs> I have got so many um, kind of beautiful textures in front of my eyes here, which I just adore. And we are going to be learning about the twisted wire aspect now, yeah. aren't we? So I've got that wire twister tool coming up for you in a moment. Why is it important for this design? Um, one, it makes um, your 0.8 wire, which was what I had to work with. Yeah. It makes it very structural. Mm. So on its own, I wouldn't necessarily do a torque necklace or um, a wraparound bangle. Excuse me, I have to reposition my squeak. The <laughs> 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 bike to fly out. Oh, <laughs> so, um, so when it, you know, it allows you to make more of your one gauge of wire. So you. You, you know, up your gauges, make up more structural pieces. Fair. Two, it's really neat. Yeah. Um, and it also lends itself to botanical designs and so that sort of thing because it mimics what you know what ivy does or what vines yeah, do when yeah. they are twist and twine around Fair. things okay brilliant okay yeah so what I'm gonna do is use my wire twister and you're using this one aren't I'm you using this little one yeah why are you this one for this design oh I don't need to because it's a quite a small piece, um, the wire is really malleable, and I only need to use four pieces of wire. Okay. If I was using a higher gauge of wire, maybe, and this many, I would use the the grippy ones. Gr the the plier ones. ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but these are great, and they're really it's really easy and quick to do. Fantastic. So these are coming up on your screen right about now, and we'll show you exactly how to use them. It's super easy to use, as Gemma Crow will show us. Uh, we're going to bring up the code for you and the price point. Essentially, you'll get it in your packaging like this. You have the disc, and you have the shank section there as well. And to put them together into this form, all you have to do is, is kind of unscrew this bit, screw this section on through the center, and we'll show you exactly how to use it in a moment. For your wire twister tool, your price point, it's just eight pounds and forty-five pence. It's a great price point, super duper low. And I know you've had yours quite some time. Yes. And I know you use it quite often as well. Yes, I yeah, I use it a lot. Actually, it's done very well, hasn't it? I haven't really thought about it, but yeah, about a year I've had it, and I use it all the time. All the time. Yeah. 
and it's there's nothing wrong with it no absolutely it's lasted yeah. and lasted um 8.45 um, um price point and we'll show you how to use it right now okay so a um, nice simple way i find is if i'm doing an even length of cords so if i'm doing four or two um you do up to five in here by the way um then what i'll do is i'll cut a really long length and just double them over okay. so fold them over and then i will thread two of the ends through two of the loops in the tool in the washer and downwards and the other two on the other side this just saves me having to knot and twist the wire at the top end so pull them all through okay make sure they're all level and then as we pull them through then the the ends hold here so just pull them and that saves me having to twist and knot at this end okay all right yeah absolutely now generally at home i use um the key in the back door i just loop it around the key and then i've got something nice and sturdy to pull against but you do need something okay. sturdy to pull against and would I you be able to pop it in say a clamp absolutely clamp, would you that's perfect yeah at home i often use a clamp and i'll put i will clamp a rod oh yeah in like that. like that got you and then i can create my loop at the same time clever as, as twisting my wire so. we have still got some of this clamp left this is going to come up on your screen in a moment um it was if you've just tuned in it's your movable clamp it attaches to the um table as well and um, it's going to take the place of this wire twister tool it was an absolutely amazing price point Gemma crow you know guessed quite worried actually 25 30 pounds for it and mm -hmm. thought oh what if is it going to say 40 now it wasn't actually it was under 10 pounds for this clamp super heavy super durable you can move it as you like it lots of different um, clasps and attachments to this and it was just 7.95 absolutely great price point that's on as your main graphics now but i don't <coughs> have many left because it's a last chance opportunity stock hopper um but going to be great for this 7.95 for you now okay okay so um failing all those options um i am using the gizmo that i've already got set up because it's clamped in okay so what i'm going to do is just loop it through anywhere you can anchor it really and mm -hmm. um, pull the wires back on themselves and just one or two wraps around just to keep it in place okay and then you get a nice lot of tension so you you need to pull the wires so they're taut <coughs> I don't know if we're gonna get that in there so they're taut and then just have a check that there's not one that is like overly if you had one that was sort of really loose okay. then spend a bit of time to get them roughly all the same sort of tension okay all right yes then holding this um, part here which is actually a sheath that goes over that part so it allows the rod to turn inside yeah you then just turn the handle round around and you can see your wire twists beautifully evenly twists beautifully evenly it's not chipping off any quickly. of that color it's it's making it go quickly smoothly and you know you do have that kind of sheath section on so you're not having to constantly reposition your hands yeah. or you yeah. know do it like a crank it's really, super easy really simple now the tighter you go the more rigid your wire become because you'll be work hardening it at the same time yeah. okay so. that's how easy this tool is to use it's at the bottom of your screen right now just so you know it's eight pounds 45 pence just a great price point for you right so once i've got it as um, tight as i want it then i'm gonna just and twist this one end you can cut it if you prefer mm -hmm. if you just want to cut it okay but sometimes i like to have the option of these ends um just in case i want okay. to have something and then this end you can just trim all the ends off of there and just pull it off. okay okay well that looks like a perfect prong set there doesn't does it? actually set a, set a gem, set a gem in there mm -hmm. anyway i'm not going to not for today anyway Right, so now this is going to be um, the start of our bangle. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to cut all the ends off. I don't need any of these tendrils okay. for this design. So cut them off well into the twist, okay, because we don't want, um, we're going to actually roll these in, so we don't want any loose sticky outy bits. So cut it where the twist is really um, strong, okay. not, not you know where it starts coming apart. Yeah. And then I'm going to spiral the ends in. But what I don't want to do is start right at the end. Because if I, I'm going to show you actually what happens. And then I'll cut it back off. Okay. If I get right to the end and yeah. pinch it um, and do a spiral, 
Can you see what's happening? I see, I'm yeah. losing some. You're losing because, bits. Yeah. It's spreading out. It spreads, that's it. So if I just trim that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work just about down here. So only half a centimetre Half a so. centimetre or so, and then turn from there in. Now you might get it splitting a little bit, but it's it won't. It's nowhere near as much. No, it, it definitely won't go as, as much, and you can just crimp those in after. Okay, so I'm going to start um, at this one end, making this spiral. I might actually want this, this loop in the centre quite large, because I'm going to set a gem in there in a minute. Okay. So... Let's start, let's go for about that for now. And then the other side, the other end of your wire, you want to do a spiral again, but um, in the opposite direction. So if we see, we've got it going downwards here, so I'm going to spiral this one upwards. Okay, I see. Okay. So again, coming in, not quite at the end, just to allow it to all move as one piece rather than separate. Okay. And we'll roll it in. And you can see, even though there's four pieces of wire here, so that's, what's that, um, 16, 32, now we've got a 33.2 millimetre wire that we're working with here. Yeah. Because it's actually comprising of the 0.8, it's actually still almost as malleable as 0.8 is. Um, so you don't have to worry about using your fingers, it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I want two spirals, one at each end. Okay. If they end up being the opposite way, just twist them around, they'll be fine. And this, we just want this large enough to go around our wrist, and um, so those spirals will sort of sit opposite one another onto the top of your wrist. Okay. So we want this to be about seven inches ish. Ish. So okay. So if we use our measure, our board, we we'll just go. There was that's about eight. So if mm -hmm. we just take it a little bit more, and it, again, this is about the size that to do with the size of your wrist. Of course. Okay. And I suppose if you wanted this as kind of a bicep piece, the higher yeah. arm piece, you'd make it a bit larger. A bit, bit, bit bigger, yeah. And well, what I would be tempted to do is actually, you know, use the same length um, twist and then just make the spirals bigger or smaller. Yeah, you know, oh, that's a good, good So tip. you don't really have to be too precise, which no. is nice. Okay, so I'm going to make my um, shape it so it's sort of bangle, bangle size. And what I'm going to do is actually the back of your wrist is really quite flat. If you look at your wrist, it's actually really flat, yeah, and is. the top of your wrist is really flat. So actually, all we want is a bend in the sides and a flat sections at the top, at the front, and at the back. Okay, there'd be a bit of a curve, but not much. Yeah. So you know, rather than turning it into a circle, just form it into an oval, and you can do that directly from just pulling it up from the base of the table. Okay, if you find it's a bit small, just undo the loop slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm sort of happy if I try that on myself, then that Hopefully was sort of, that that's going to yeah. sit sort of just right actually. Perfect. Okay, so there's not really much science to it. Right, so that's that there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in um, some details. Now, if you look at this one which I've made, it almost looks like I've twisted them all at the same time, all the wires together and just left some sticking out. And I'll show you how to achieve that. So, first things first, we're going to take each of the wires and add on a. Um, right, I've cut these wires. Let me just say about these are about thirty centimeters long. These wires, okay? okay. It might be a bit, um, bit generous, but it's better to have, have them more. a bit generous and trim some off. So, what I'm going to do is on each one end of each of the wires I'm going to add one of these little um, beautiful little flowers. Don't forget sure they come in that. the kit um, which you can still get there's a few more of those available one thing you can't get many more of at the moment is the table vise I have got probably about 17 or 18 in baskets I've only got 20 left so just check it out because uh, I've got the last in stock um, as far as I know so 20 left. Okay so what you want to do is thread on um, what you'll find is these flowers they have five petals so you're going to have one petal where the hole is coming out of the centre of the petal and one where the hole is coming from between the, the petals. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is thread it on with the through this edge where you actually go through the petal. Okay. So that the wire actually comes out in between the petals and that's going to help us fold the wire back over on itself and hide. I see. So what you'll do is then once it's threaded on, leave about two inches, it's poking out the top, 
then fold that right down. You can see how that nestles nicely into the groove between the petals. I see. Put it back round so it's doubled back and then hold firmly the gemstone with the wire along the back in your foot, um, finger and thumb and then take that little tail of wire and just pull it nice and tightly around the other wire just to hold it in place and also create a little bit of a you know, it looks like the sort of top of the stem of a flower then as well mm -hmm. and trim it off okay so we need four of those for this um, bracelet um, just to let people know because someone has messaged in about that wire we have already launched it but if you've just tuned in we did an almost half price deal on this wire today let's take a quick look around it because this wire was actually used <coughs> in both of our kits today making it great for both of the pieces um, the, that we've seen created today the one we're using at the moment is of course the chartreuse wire 50 meters worth of your 0.8 but also in here and in this collection in front of you you will see we've used plenty of your fuchsia 0 0.4 in these designs and um, in particular on on this gorgeous head pin here which is just stunning um with those gorgeous pieces so we've used that pink in there using the other shade of pink as well you have at the bottom of this you've got 50 meters worth on this selection here um, and this one is um, what gauge is this one a 0 0.8 yeah. as well on top of this one I've got that gorgeous rich purple wire which is also your 0 0.8 and that's the one we really looked at quite heavily in our first designer inspiration you've got your turquoise 50 meters as well and that's a 0 0.6 for you on this today so if you want to get your hands on 230 meters worth of wire that was your price point it should have been 63 something was it 63 pounds and 65 pence as you should be priced for this collection but we did it almost half price of just 34.95 so we got these and with these are the two that we've been using over both kits so last few of those at that price point get them whilst you can that's amazing it's fab isn't it, it? is amazing really amazing right so i'm gonna start put, point, putting popping put pop whatever you want to do you can put them or you can pop them <laughs> just um, along this vine like bracelet so you can see I've staggered where they sort of protrude from on that spiral so we're going to start with the uppermost so the one that's going to come at the furthest point around the spiral first yeah what you're going to do is you're going to lay the wire lay the gemstone in place where mm -hmm. you want it to sit yeah and then you're going to take your um, take your wire. I'm dropping everything now. It's all right. Don't worry. I've just chucked some wire on the floor. I'm just going to fold unfold this just to get it back out, so you can. It's much easier to see. It's actually much easier to work with with it flat as well. So pop the wire in there, and what we're going to do is bring this wire around, but allow it to follow the natural the contours of the twisted wire. Mm -hmm. So what you'll find is it then begins. It actually ends up or starts to look a lot like one of those um, twisted Figaro chains. I know what you mean. Because, um, or twisted rope chain, mm. because it sort of evenly spaces itself in this spiral. Okay, so um, we keep going around, it's like a helter skelter. And just allow it to sit. If you, you can do it a couple of ways, it's hard for me to show you like this, but if you just hold your thumb and forefinger sort of with it at a so a 45 degree angle sort of away because yeah. that's sort of the angle of the wrap okay I see. show you there in fact if I do it there that's much easier yeah I can see it that a way. 45 degree angle that's about the angle that these spirals have taken so I can then hold it at that angle and pull and twist and it should fall into line for me and it is oh it so is perfectly you see it's just falling into line mm. giving you that house to scouter effect and at the moment, it sort of stands out. If you get one that goes in the wrong place, just pull it round. At the mm. moment, it sort of stands out as um, a standalone wire that's wrapping around the others. But as you add the other four in, it almost becomes a twisted sheath around the, the base twist. Mm. OK, right. So I'm going to just do that. I've rushed it a bit. But I don't have to rush it, don't we? It's OK. Come into here. 
and then we'll get to the point on the other end where we would like, um, where, so it's symmetrical. What's happened? Okay, so that's sticking out at about the same point as that one. Yes, I see. Maybe a bit further round. Yeah. Do this by eye. Don't worry too much about it. Don't get too stuck on it. Okay. Um, and then again, we're going to thread on now a gemstone, and we're going to go through the petal with the hole in first, so it comes out between the petals okay. as before. Thread it down, down into position. We only want it protruding about half a centimetre or so. Hold it in place, pull the wire back down along the back of the gemstone, grip it really firmly between your finger, finger and thumb, and then use this wire to come around three or four times to keep it in place. Okay. If okay. you maybe haven't been able to get your hands on that kit, because I know it has been extremely popular, we're extremely low um, in stock at Opportunity now, but you want to create this look, maybe you've already got your hands on wire, or you've got some in your stash, and maybe you just need some gorgeous oh, flower cool. shapes, then these are going to be perfect for this design really, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they work just, in fact, they look lovely just alongside even. They would actually. Oh, I love that gorgeous. idea. Yeah, let me show it against this necklace if I may. This is a strand I'm bringing to you right now. Oh, it looks beautiful alongside. Um, it's going to be nicest too because they are the clear quartz. Can you see how that colour shines through? So it doesn't matter what you pair this with, what wire you decide to use, it's going to look absolutely beautiful in your designs because it's really going to shine that colour through. These are going to be great alongside or as opposed to um, the flowers that you get in the kit. They are your five petaled flowers and the difference with these is they actually have those hand carved indentations of each of the petals. They are absolutely beautiful in appearance, absolutely sparkling quality. Really, really is just sensational. Um, you have got, uh, they're going nicely with those feathers actually. I haven't seen the feathers in ages. No, I was thinking about ages. those the other day. I haven't seen feathers. But they just go beautifully actually because that colour really just spans through, doesn't it? Well, that's the beauty of clear quartz, isn't it? Mm. You can pop, pop it with anything really does go with anything. It does, doesn't it? And um, we have got these feathers coming up for you later on, so do stay tuned. Um, this is your clear quartz, um, 150 carats worth. These are 12 mil. Your price point today for these beautiful hand-carved petals is just £11.95. DYGP21, that's your code. Well done to everyone who's already checked these out. They are stunning quality, you can see that. Um, £11.95 for you today. Great addition uh, to your collection. Okay, I'm back with you, Gemma Crow. Okay, okay. What I thought I'd do is get get the next one in, and I can show you the third one going into place, and see how this, how the sort of wrapping okay. around sort of inter, you know, intertwines with one another. So you can see now, I left you at the last point. I had just one of the flowers yep. wrapped in, and then now I've got two of them wrapped in. You see mm -hmm. how that looks like the twisted rope chain? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's actually a really nice effect. Really beautiful effect. Um, but I'm going to now run another one alongside that and you can see how it twists in. So um, again, just lay it down, stagger, because we're going to stagger these flowers. So this one's here, this one's here, the next one's just going to come a little bit further down. So I'm going to go on top just there and then we're going to wrap this wire around. Now the second one, or the third one you do, gets easier easier and easier because you've got a guide almost in place from the last one. So as you pull it round, you see it just sitting next to the one that came before. I see. Who sent in that message, Helena? You don't have to pop it on screen. <laughs> That headband reminds me of Nursey from Black Adder. You're exactly right, it completely does. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Much more elegant though, right? Yeah, mm. way more, way more. Did you, did you used to watch Black Adder? No. Did you not? Definitely not my humour. Oh, Black Adder, because <laughs> I think that's another reason that I loved um, Queen Elizabeth I, you know? <laughs> because of Black Adder, because um, we used to watch it all the time when I was younger. Good spot, good spot, I do. Oh, I feel like I've become a, I've embodied her now. <laughs> Thank you for that message. Do keep those messages coming. Um, um, 60 is your text number. 
Okay, so that's um, my third one laid in. So if I just attach these gems, so we can twist it and then pop it all into place, and I show you how to attach the quartz um, into the little loops at the end. But this is such a quick design. It's so quick to mm. do. I mean, we've done this right from scratch. And we're nearly finished. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, and again, you can use any colours. You could use all sorts. I mean, we've got so many different coloured wires. It look different in each of them. Okay, so I've attached another flower. Mm -hmm. Trim the wires. <coughs> I think I'm going to have to have some more honey and lemon in a minute. I'm just looping that round, keeping it in place. Yeah, so it's threaded through the gemstone, through the, the petal, uh, hole in the petal first mm -hmm. rather than be in between. Yeah. Pull the wire back down along the back of the gemstone and then wrap it around three or four times. Just be consistent, really. If you've done three the first time, do three the second time. It's all right. Your the mic's end. out. You're fine <laughs> now. Um, just to let everybody know uh, that you have got their hands on that quartz. Well done to you all. I've got a decent enough quantity. I've got lots of multi buyers, so it's a good job I've got a good quantity. Uh, so do treat yourself to that if you get the opportunity to do so. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous strand. Okay. Oh, husky. So here we go. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's your throat all right? Do you need anything? A lozenge? No. No. I've got some lozenges and I've got some honey and lemon, which I'm going to okay. sup on in a minute. Okay, really. bless you. Okay, so I've got, I've only got three gemstones in here, but that would be fine, because remember, when we draw it together, it's actually going to be six on of the top. Of course, yeah, yeah. So don't go overboard, because it can be too, too, um... OTT. Yeah. Too, um, fussy. Yes. Okay, so pulling it together, we can now see, sort of, I haven't shaped that very well, but take your time and see where it all sits in. Yeah. So now it's a case of just positioning these petals so they're not all sort of on top of one another. So some I might twist inwards. Um, but I think actually that is working quite well. Okay. So that's going to sit just like that. So now I want to just pop something in the centre of these spirals. One, for decoration. Two, to stop it from pulling apart. So it's going to add me a bit of strength as well. So I'm going to pop in one of these lovely mm -hmm. um, top drilled drops. And these are perfect for this job because the drill hole is at the bottom, which means when I sit it in there, I've just got the nice round dome protruding. And those shapes are perfect because they're not a point, are they? Exactly. Which would dig into your, exactly. your arm. They are, flat. if I show you, these ones in the kit, they're flat on top. So it doesn't mean it means that if you have them resting against your skin, there's no there's no um, irritation there because it is a lovely flat top. Don't forget those frosty quartz are in that kit as well. Uh, if you want to get your hands on them, feel free to. Right. What I do, what I've done there is just widen that hole at the centre of the spiral just a little bit, so so that that just sits inside it. Okay. Okay. So now this is how I attached these little drops. Take a just a short length um, of your chartreuse wire, thread your little drop onto the centre and fold them up like so. Okay? Like this. Yeah. Then I'm gonna thread those those tails through the loop in the centre of the um, spiral and pull them down. That way my wires are at the back, okay, and I haven't got anything sticking out, but the gemstone won't pull through the loop. Okay. So then when I flip it over, I can open these, these out, like that, mm -hmm. and then use one side, take, bring the wire up through, and just then take it back down so that it's sort of catching the side of that spiral. Okay. Okay. Put it through nice and tight. Now it's a 0.8 wire, so for wrapping with it isn't easy, um, but this is how you can get it nice and tight. So first get your loop basically in, so it's basically wrapped around that um, spiral there. Okay. And then hold, pulling outwards, or pulling away from um, the point that you want to tighten, 
just rock the wire up and down like so pulling okay. at the same time and that will tighten that wrap in place really good tip I love that okay. yeah fab. and we'll do a couple of those so we'll bring the wire back up through the middle again and wrap around and if you can yeah it will help keep it nice and um, secure as well is if you catch in the end of that spiral as well mm -hmm. it, what it will do is cover it up slightly and help keep it all from unraveling so you might need to go around a couple of times to catch it in place mm -hmm. but it will certainly help uh, with the finish okay so let's do it so you can catch it okay so there I've caught it now you can see I've around the two sides of that spiral now I see and then again use that technique I call it the ratchet tr strap technique because it's, it's like tightening up ah, the straps right. on, a, straps on, a on a lorry yeah, yeah. or whatever else trailer yeah and then you rock the wire up and down so that it tightens and draws everything in good tip right and then when we cut the wire we're going to cut on the top side um, because then we're less likely to cause ourselves an injury or scratch our wrist okay. when we're wearing it the tug through, bring it up to the top, and then what I would do is cut just where there's like a little divvy yeah. in there so you can tuck it in. So now when I press that wire, it's just going to sit inside there, there's nothing to scratch. Okay. Because so we do the same the other side, so we bring the wire back up through. If we show it from the back this time, so it's coming through. Yeah. And then we're going to catch this little, the side of this loop here. Okay. Yeah. Pull. And that ratchet strap technique again, pulling it Fab. round. You really need to anchor it a few times, two or three times on that side. And again, trim it off, but not on the back. If you trim it, I've trimmed it from the back there, but what I'm going to do is pull that little tail round so that it's sort of sitting inside inside the spiral. I see. Okay, and that, that's how you do your bracelet, basically. That is so simple, but so really simple. beautiful. Great for beginners to get involved exactly. with. Really exactly. great, yeah. I just adore it. And that's how we're doing the technique and this kind of effect on the necklace as well, which is so beautiful. Yeah, that one's like three mini bracelets. Mm. So um, you make three sort of S shapes, like the bracelet, but shorter and then just attach them together so beautiful uh, we have had messages in about this mm. headpiece and actually I'm going to bring you some of the components for this so and um, if I hand you that and you can think up a sort of three minute explanation oh, yeah, yeah. yeah um, I have got some of the components you're going to need for this and maybe you couldn't stretch to the price of the kit you just need loads of headbands maybe I've got them here for you you're getting a set of five headbands same color we had in the kit you're also getting five of your hair combs as well which you need to create this design which I have been wearing on my head can I just say as well it's very very comfortable and um, I've also got in here some of your um, um, your monofilament as well which is around a 0.25 mil and you've got 50 meters worth on the spool I then have for you all of these head pins it is a huge amount <laughs> I'm trying to there we go is a massive amount isn't there of these they are your rose gold uh, plated um heart shaped head pins you've got on these if i could show you the length you've got a 50 mil length on these so great for using really nice designs and um, really long sort of focal pieces if you wanted to do and um, use the extra wire for things like wraps or loops or spiral shops that you could um but also they've got those gorgeous little um, hearts on the end and all again if i just show you in color palette wise all matching we did send off our our very beautiful sort of high-end head pins etc to match with the colors that we have so they just go perfectly um, your price point today for this massive collection should be 1330 for all of this today we are taking it down for you though we understand it's getting to wedding season well it's getting to wedding season for us crafters isn't it we all know that as crafters we have to get a serious head start on makes um, I for one as I'm sure a lot of you will know I am um, I do my grandma and advent calendar every year and I start that in September if not sooner sometimes so we all have to get crafting very very early don't we if you're getting ready for the wedding season or prom season now's the time to get started and at eight 
95 it'd be rude not to wouldn't it to get your hands on all of those um <laughs> Gemma Quero, i'm just sort of looking <laughs> at you there you kind of looked up at the price and then you looked down and frowned <laughs> that was so obvious sorry <laughs> 895 <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I, little, am I stupid to ask what do you think of that price? It's a great price. Isn't it? But I, d I don't know about anybody else, but I've never seen the rose gold hairbands and combs anywhere else. Yes. When I first started, I was only using copper. And right. so I had to make them, all the bands myself. And they're really oh. difficult to make yourself and right. not be catching your hair. So it's lovely to actually have them at last. Great. And That's that a really price. good point to make. And at that price point, yeah. exactly. 8 95 for you. It's just fantastic. It really is sensational. So get them whilst you can, really do. 8 95 plenty if you're getting them. Well done, everyone. Okay, we're going to have a really brief look just for the next, like I said, three minutes or so at how to create these. Okay, right. So what I've done is I've taken a comb, mm -hmm. and you can see here I've splayed it out. So I've splayed the very end tooth as far as it will go, really, and just splay them out. Mm -hmm. And then the three centre ones I've pulled back to the back like that and they're going to be little teeth I see just to, to grab my hair to grip the hair give yeah. me a bit more grip because it's quite a heavy piece really once mm. you've got all these pearls in mm. and then what I'm doing is taking the length of um, 0.8 of the pink wire um, and I'm threading on a pearl so first I'm taking it through one of the um, teeth of the comb yeah then threading the pearl down like so, and then thread in the wire back through then the per next tooth along. I see. And that is giving me a, a ridge of pearls all the way, or a row of pearls all the way along the top. It gives you that nice uniform yeah. separation. and the fan sort of fan, fan effect. effect. Yeah. So I'll show you one more. And I'll show you, just attach it. It's, it's just so simple. It's so simple. There's not much to it at all. This goes in there. And then again through the Teeth. teeth pull it round okay yeah so that, that's it so then if I was um, coming back mm -hmm. on the way back along to get these little just to sort of contain them mm -hmm. almost I've just come brought my wire straight out a bit <coughs> away down and then taking it through the tooth again from the front so it's come from the back back to the front to the front so from the front and through, and pull, and then pull it up. Yes. And then take it from the back again to the front, through the through the centre of the tooth of the comb. Yeah. Pull, and just allow these little scallops to form. And then what I've done when I finished doing that is just pushed all the scallops so they actually create a nice even sort of framework then around the pearls. That's so simple, isn't yeah, it? So and if you take a look on the design I'm holding, you'll be able to see how that effect from going from front to back creates this wave-like effect on the design. So if you look in this section here, can you see the wire that's gone front to back? Gives you that beautiful wave-like effect, which then mimics that fan design on these pieces. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really do. Yeah. It, it's a, I'm really pleased with it when I when I put it together, and it looks nice with them out on the sides as well. It does like a bit like gills though, but <laughs> with the right hairstyle. No, I do know what you mean. You know, it's perfect. I absolutely adore this headband piece. I've got to say, I want it in my life. Um, I just adore it. Thank you so much, right. Jen, for showing us that. And how just, do we attach it yeah, onto the headband? Just going to show you. The, you take the flat, the flat side of the because the comb's got that flat bar on it. Does, through, yeah. Put a lay those two those sides together and just yeah. take your wire and literally wrap in between each each tooth, tooth yeah. and onto the comb and it will hold and then bend these into the into position. Fab. Okay, so it is so, so simple. Gem, you're an absolute love. Thank you so much for showing us you're that. Welcome. We are actually going to be back after the break with Gemma because guess what? I've got another new in coming up for you in about four minutes so stay exactly where you are because Gemma's going to be talking us all through I'll see you after the break for that and some things that are a little bit different I'll see you in a moment get involved with jewelry maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours 
You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Want to learn how to make the most of your beading thread? Then come and join in the fun on our Adventures with Beading Thread workshop. Guest designer Gemma Crow will inspire you to design stunning feature pieces of jewellery that will help you to make use of your essential stash items. Full course includes a selection of beading thread, a selection of findings, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools and equipment, a buffet lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $64.95. For further information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Join the jewellery making fun with this fantastic In The Mix DVD. This DVD includes four different techniques with four different guest designers. Debbie Bulford shows us how to create elegant polymer clay pendants. Laura Binding is here to show us a beautiful wire-wrapped ring. Mark Smith with his fantastic macrame earrings using beading thread and gemstones. And finally, Liz Welch with jewel enamel pendants. You'll be surprised just how many different ways there are to make new and exciting pieces of jewellery. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis, so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back everyone to Design Inspiration. Welcome back Gemma Crow. Hi. <laughs> I, went to get, I went to get more honey and lemon. Cassie said it was okay. Oh. So blame, blame Cassie. Cassie. It's alright. <laughs> Hello lovely. Hello. You alright? Mm -hmm. Do you want a honey and lemon? I do. It's it's part made. Is it brewing? Mm. It's brewing in there. <laughs> um, we are over here with Gemma Corey because I promised you at 22 we would have a new in. It's not 22 yet though, so we can't bring in the graphics because needs must. No, I'm joking. Let's bring <laughs> her in. This is a brand new in, and this lady is the perfect woman to tell us about this double sided texturing hammer. I've got to say, that texture in particular is something I've never seen before. This one? Yeah. My favourite. Really? I'll show you it in action. This is my bangle. Oh, wow. Take a little look. See it. You see that on there? How gorgeous is that effect? Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. You can see. It's, my, it's one of my favourite textures. It's so nice. Um, it goes all the way. All the way around. That is stunning. It almost looks like bubble wrap. It does, and that's using <laughs> a that's side like this. One. You have to really bash nice and hard with that one because what you're ex what you're asking for is the metal to come up and into those dimples. Yes. So it's it's an absolutely gorgeous texture that one. And this one's a bit different as well because actually it's sort of got an it's got an angle to it. I'll show you an example of this one as well, but this one I've literally welded to my wrist. <laughs> it's not coming off. <laughs> it's not coming. But um, is it the side section here? See, I've hammered the side. I'm just gonna. Can you see that section? Put myself there? over. <laughs> Put yourself. <laughs> so that go. is using this section, this bit here. Yeah, it's like a cross hatch. I see. Like a, um, I mean, this one I've done like it in a really rough, rustic pattern, but you can actually get a really nice. Um, even um, cross hatch with that, 
or you can get um, the lines that sort of radiate from an area. So, yes, uh, because these aren't, the ones I've seen before are just flat on, but these ones aren't flat, they're actually like oh, this, aren't an, they? On an angle, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you, um, you see, yeah, they're, they're sort of cut like a, like teeth into. Yeah. So you can hit at a certain angle, you get different effects, but I mean, it's, these are gorgeous to use. I, I would not be without my texture hammers, they transform your any work you do with metals heavy gauge wire I wouldn't recommend using this one on a plated wire but um, this one would be okay and mm -hmm. um, but for all of our raw bare copper wires bare sheet copper perfect and, and why is adding texture to your pieces something that we want to look for because you know for some pieces you'll obviously just want that pureness of, of yeah. the metal but why sometimes texture well um, Putting a texture onto a piece doesn't necessarily just give you a texture, it can give you also a difference in colour as well. Okay. Because um, when, especially with metals, if you let them oxidise or you put a patina on them, you, the raised area is going to be high shine and glossy and the recessed area is going to be sort of blackened and dark, so yeah, it yeah. gives you that double whammy of texture and colour. So, um, and it, if you, also, go if on. we're honest, yeah, go on. Um, when you first start working with sheet copper, until you get really used to it, it's very, very difficult to get a perfect, smooth sheen and finish. I see, yeah, So of actually, it can hide a multitude of sins to just pop some texture on. <laughs> you know, it really is, it, you know, gives you the, a really great finish without actually having a perfect finish. That's a really you, good tip. You're aiming for imperfection with yeah. the texture. So. And you're going for that kind of vintage look. Yes. Yes. completely understand that so, yeah. um, it's a really nice weight to it I was just noticing then a really really nice weight to this why is that important uh, it takes the when you would put in a texture in, you need to work quite hard especially with this one because mm -hmm. we want the, the um, metal to go in we're not yes. giving an impression we're actually trying to ask it I don't know what the opposite word is you're asking it, I know exactly what you mean, you're asking it to dome out, out aren't you? Yeah. You're asking it to dome out as opposed to getting concave yeah. in. So you, you need quite a bit of pressure, so having a weight in the hammer takes some of that out for you. Mm -hmm. um, and also a bit like a pendulum, how a pendulum works, um, takes the action out of your wrist so much as well, because okay. it would automatically swing down. And the beauty of having, no good having a heavy hammer if you haven't got the right end to your hammer. Okay. Because that will act like, like a ball and socket joint. In, in I know your, what you mean. In your palm. So it will allow it, the weight will allow just to, to sort of, that, that will rotate in your palm and the weight will allow it to hit down. Gives you the movement that you need. So, you know, it is useful, especially with texture, to have a heavy, it's wonderful. A heavy hammer. It's wonderful. It really is brand new in for you today. It's your double-sided texturing hammer, perfectly created for all your jewellery making needs and at a perfect price point of just £8.95 for this professional tool today. And you can use it on so, so many different mediums. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's no... Because I mean, you've obviously it, used it with your bangle. Yeah, that's, that's copper. That's, and copper. That's copper. Yeah. But yeah, you can use it, I mean, not as a hammer with polymer, to just put a texture, texture in. in. Um, yeah. In fact, a gorgeous texture on polymer you'd get with that. Stone, it's really beautiful. Silver, clay, anything. Like wood, even. You can texture wood and leather as well, mm. especially like tanning. Veg tan. Veg you tan. Can, um, you can add texture, texture to that. But I've just noticed another feature. If Go I can, on. Can I point it out? Yeah, of course you can. See this little rivet here? Yes. Um, I have hammers like this that I bought a long, long time ago when I first started using metals, mm -hmm. and I have a problem with them coming off the end. Okay. The head's coming off. Now these have got a rivet that uh, hinges goes all the way through. There's no way that that head is going to come off of there, which is actually is a brilliant feature with hammers and a good safety feature as well, because you know it's it's not something really you want point. hammer head flying across the room. So it's a really that's a really brilliant little detail that you don't find in all so it's worth pointing out. So this is going to last and last and last. Yes. It's, it's cracking. Cracking hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I love how chuffed you get got, with things like I this. I got over passionate about a hammer last time I was in didn't I? And, <laughs> and I've got the mickey taken out of me for a long time. So <laughs> I love it. I adore it. Um, we have got loads of you coming in for this. Absolutely well done to you all. Your double side detection hammer. Jem thank you so much for talking to us about this. Um, How's your challenge going? Um, I've done something which is quite surprising. That's quite good yeah. for you actually. Yeah, if I quarter to, usually it's last hour kind yeah, of look, job. I've done something. <gasps> I love it.
I love it. Um, we'll be back with Jen very, very shortly. I'd leave the hammer here for you. Just, you okay, know. thank you. Okay. I'm going over this way. Um, £8.95 is the price on that brand new hammer. I do have one more brand new in. That's happening in just, over, uh, just under an hour, again, at 22. And it's something beautiful uh, I think a lot of you will really like. Now, I'm into a section... It's a little bit different. I've got loads coming up for you today. Um, I've got a something a little bit different section, and then I've also got for you an under twenty pound section. And trust me, not everything in that section should be under twenty pounds. So keep your eyes peeled because that's coming up straight after this. Loads of you coming up in this last hour or so. Something a little bit different. Okay, I have actually got a strand for you tomorrow that will fit into this bracket perfectly, but I'll tell you about that in a moment. I'm starting off with something truly different. I gave you a sneak peek before. Peacock cultured pearls. Well, we see peacock cultured pearls now and again, so maybe not that different. Wait till you see the size of these. They are absolutely epic. And yes, they are real cultured pearls. Take a look, something a bit different. Low stock opportunity. These are the most luxurious pearls I've ever seen ever ever seen can i just show you our average strands next door to these just to give you an element of scale <laughs> look at the size difference they are so so huge aren't they this is kind of the average pearl strand we've been getting you know around the kind of six by seven mil these are your luxury size pearls that we've got here today oh boy oh boy they are epic even if you know i just lie these ones alongside them just look at how much larger they are isn't that astonishing they are huge when we talk about your luxury size pearls we're really really dealing with um kind of um, a much much greater price point obviously because essentially these have taken so much longer for mother nature to create herself um W the rule with pearls is as soon as you get to an 8 mil, for every half millimetre, the price point will go up dramatically. Absolutely dramatically. I'm not just talking, you know, um, 5, 10 pounds per half millimetre. I'm talking way more than that in many locations. Luxury size pearls demands luxury price points. This is the most luxurious um, strand of pearls I have ever seen. Do you want to see it around the neckline, just to give you an idea? Because they're so huge. I'll just be careful not to get my mic. Um, just take a look. Oh my gosh. Not many left. Look at Gemma's face. Not many left. Your Amazing. price point today, luxury, luxury size pearls, £39.95. I am in love. They are glamorous. Oh my gosh. They've got that element of the Tahitian as well, haven't they? Oh my days. Well done, everyone who's got those. How many have I got left? By the looks of things, about six, seven? Six or seven left, that's it. So get them whilst you can. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, something else a little bit different for you now. They are stunning. Is a gorgeous strand of rhodonite. Now, we see rhodonite now and again. It's, it's not a gemstone we have on that often, which is interesting because it is actually one of the most um, noted uh, gemstones in the world. It's been used for many, many amazing pieces. But this strand in particular is very unusual because the carat weight of each individual and the shape of them. Take a little look at this highly noted, beautiful gemstone. Now, why do I say that this is a noted gemstone? Okay, I say this is a noted gemstone because it used to be known as an imperial gemstone. It used to have such a high status point because essentially this has been used in some of the most renowned pieces of artwork in the world. We know, of course, that it was used a lot by Fabergé, many Fabergé eggs encrusted within this. And it was also an imperial gemstone um, and therefore used in some of the most kind of prestigious pieces of artwork in the world including this piece I'm about to show you now which is a piece uh, a picture of the Kremlin um, that has been created entirely mainly in this gemstone 
So you can see that is a, 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 a statue, a creation, a sculpture of the Kremlin using this gorgeous gemstone because at the time that this was created, it was such a notable gemstone and such a high-end gemstone that it was used to create kind of, um, I suppose, a, a very well-known vision in, in such a beautiful manner. And if we look at it again, it will be able to see, do you see that kind of where the clock is? You see they have the arch over the top. And then on each corner of those, you can you see there's also gemstones upon there. Emerald. Genuine gold and sapphire have all been put together around this gemstone. That's how noted it is. That's how notable this gemstone and how prestigious this gemstone is, that it used to be creating, you know, very noticeable places, locations, artwork pieces, but also that it was so well known that it actually was worked alongside emerald, sapphire, and gold, like you've just seen in that piece. These are individual, unique pieces, and your price point today for 270 carats worth I've already said this is something a bit different because the gemstone we don't see that often. Take a look at the shape again for me, it's sensational, but also it's something a bit different because this is a price point you've never seen on it before. Six pounds and 95 pence, I've just taken that price to an all time low for every single one of you out there, even for all of those who already checked out. Oh, some people changing their minds now. Some people who had just got one have now purchased two, unsurprisingly, lowest ever price point. And this is something a little bit different isn't it Gemma? I can see you keep yeah. looking up at this. I love Rhode Island. It's when that's grown, you know my love for it has grown. I yes. it wasn't wasn't so sure at first. Yeah. But it looks like um you know old photographs that have gone sort of pinkened in the in the loft. I know exactly. You know, it's, it's got that sort of feel. So for me it's really vintage and really and it's feminine without being girly, which yes. I like. Um it's lovely and it's supposed to be very powerful in attracting love into your life absolutely absolutely <laughs> um, it is a beautiful gemstone and you're right about the coloring of this it's it's a grown-up dusky yes pink yeah. isn't it which yeah. I absolutely adore lowest ever price point for you well done to everyone who's coming in for this I told you it was something a little bit different well done to everyone who's got their hands on this it really is just superb really beautiful I've got something a little bit different for you now, which I genuinely believe Gemma Quar is going to absolutely love and adore. And I nearly, nearly gave you a bit of a nudge, nudge, wink, wink about this when you accidentally did a prong set um, kind of piece <laughs> before. Um, but I didn't because I wasn't allowed to. Uh, have a little look at these. I think they're gorgeous. These are your six mil heart cut uh, collections. I need to show you, because I know not all of you will have ever seen uh, a, a Mystic Topaz, uh, but I have got Mystic Topaz in here. I've just got to show you. Oh, you've got that multi, multi-colored tourmaline as well in there. Should we have a look at some of these? Um, just to let you know, um, if you, I know that recently we had on the um, heart shape ring mounts, didn't we? I'm not sure if they were the same size, but if you have that, do take a little look. Uh, just double check whether or not they are. Um, but these are great if you just want to see really eye-catching gemstones in a unique and individual form. But of course, you can prong set these if you do have the right shank, or just do it with your wire if you want to. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Oh, you just got to take a look. Oh my gosh. Mystic Twilight Topaz. What colors could you see? Blues, purples, golds, pinks. How beautiful is that? You could just fall into it, couldn't you? Look at all the golds in there. All of these are individual heart shapes. They truly are spectacular. Oh, I'm, a, I'm absolutely in love. All of these are six mil as well, don't forget for me. And um, we could work these into kind of uh, pieces, couldn't we? Even though they haven't got a drill hole. Yeah, yeah, definitely you can um, do sort of um, a very fine 
um, Viking knit cage, you know, the Viking knit yes. that Sammy and Laura bind in demo quite, yes, yes, yes. quite often. So you could use that style, you could prong set, um, you could set them in clays, like your silver clay. Of course your you could. Bronze clays, things like that. I do actually have a metal clay show coming up for you really soon, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, yeah, because these would be great in that, absolutely beautiful, especially with that array of colours. They are sensational. You're getting um, three truly exquisite examples of gemstones here. And also, I just adore that. Please get that home to really appreciate it because although it looks great to you, it, it really does look, I think, even better in the flesh. Um, and don't forget 30 day money back guarantee no questions no quibbles if you don't absolutely fall in love with them but i'm sure you will you've got this trio it is your gems um or the collection that we have here for you and you know that because it does have that hologram on there uh, you do also get a lid to this collection too your price point for all three of this high-end trio is just 12.95 pence for you today on these something a little bit different but gorgeous i mean serious gorgeous and if you think about the quality of these and how unique and individual and beautiful they are and then I say to you that at that price point they're working out about four pounds 32 each well that really goes to show that you're getting an absolute bargain doesn't it and don't forget those storage boxes you get the three individual storage boxes and you also get a lid on top of this as well which you can use as gift boxes or storage box if you want to i need to let you know though because this is already extremely popular i actually only have 20 of these left because obviously to get this quality we can't get the quantity that we would possibly love to so get your hands on this whilst you can about uh, 19 left of these now 12.95 for you today well done I showed you these I gave you a sneaky peek of these earlier on I'm going to bring them to you now this is something a bit different because we haven't seen these in ages it feels like but it's something that Gemma Quo has worked with time and time again Gem, yeah. you and feathers it's been a long time it, it has it has hasn't it yeah well I've worked with them at home yes of course the show, but it's been a long time since, since we've, had them on the show. we've had them on the show absolutely yeah, yeah funnily enough I needed some black feathers and um, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if we're going to be doing them again soon. So, and we've got good them to here. see them. Yeah. And we've got them here. Um, you've got a gorgeous selection of your feathers here. There are so many pieces on our Jewelry Maker YouTube um, channel. If you haven't seen the feathers been used, look for Gemma Crow and search for feathers. She's made gorgeous fascinators probably about this time last year, you know. Is it that long ago? Maybe not that long. It was Possibly. definitely, it was definitely <laughs> summertime though. It? Yeah, it was well, it was warmer than it is now. I know yeah. that for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is your fascinating feathers. You've got a big selection of the blues. They're beautiful. The great thing about these is they are lovely and sturdy. You can peel off sections of these. Um, you can use these individually as well. Uh, really beautiful for you to work with. And you can separate them to give them texture and look and appeal. But then, of course, you can pull them back together, as is the nature of a feather itself. So you're going to be getting a large selection of these feathers. They're around 14 by 2, and you're getting approximately 10 in there. Beautiful blue. And then bring in to you the flower flower feathers if that makes sense um, you've got the red the purple and the pink in this for you they do all have the backing on them as well which means they're great for say glue into your headbands or your your um your, your wrist pieces if you wanted to nice corsage with these couldn't you um because you have got that backing to them you can also sew them onto something if you wish glues as simple as anything though for these aren't they and then you've got the um half fan as well your fan feather which is just beautiful around about 90 by 60 mil on these gorgeous soft feathers and um, all of these today your fascinating feathers they're backed by popular demand your price point should be 16 pounds and 75 pence for all of these <coughs> okay should be 16 pounds and 85 pence isn't it 1675 to six 95 
That's better than half price, isn't it? Way better than half price. You've got almost £10 back in your pocket from this stasha. Get them whilst you can, because they're gorgeous. Um, lovely, lovely um, Gem Quo. For mm -hmm. anyone who's maybe not seen the last time we've used these, just something real quick, easy to do with these in you know a few minutes. It's going to be a really nice feather effect. Okay, um, if you've got a hat existing already, just stick a few feathers in a hat. Love that. Or a headband, just glue one of those circles, the circular, the flowers, mm. onto a headband and it looks at instant 20s look. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. Just That's onto it. something really simple, just in the hair. Even on like a little hair bubble, quite yeah. cutesy too. Yeah. I Maybe. adore that. There's loads you can do with feathers. Loads. Loads. Yeah. Get your hands on them whilst you can because we have got them back in stock, but they have been extremely, extremely popular in the past. Do have a little look on our Facebook too for Gemma Crow's pieces. Pardon? Yeah, let's do these. I love them. Serpentine. You've probably got quite a bold um, green colour in, in your mind. Uh, by the way, well done to everyone who got those feathers. They've been um, gone for a long time, but we're getting, we've not got many of them left already, so do get them at that price point. I've never seen that price point on that many feathers ever. Um, do get them whilst you can. Um, you're probably expecting that kind of green tone, aren't you? Kind of quite a bright, vibrant, sometimes almost a, almost an acid tone. Not with these, because this is your serpentine, but it's actually a grey serpentine. I think Gemma Crow will love these. They just, to me, they pull, remind me of you, if that makes sense, because they're kind of scenic, they're artsy, yeah. they're all unique and individual. They remind me of sort of drawing with charcoal. Yes. That's what they remind me Completely. of. Completely. Lovely. Really What would nice. you do with these, Gemma Crow? Um, I would do simple wire settings. Not not the really beautiful, intricate ones that Laura might do. Not yes. something like that, but really simple, bold settings with wire. Yeah. Very clean, clean lines, maybe. I it would suit that. that sort of modern look. I adore that idea mm. um, and it is so so artsy. One thing I will say about these is I know a lot of you will be thinking serpentine's green, how are they grey? What dye has been applied? Well actually nothing. Um, it's just due to the location of these. These are natural. This is how Mother Nature creates serpentine in certain locations. It just so happens that that's, you can get serpentine from the, uh, the USA. Um, in this colouring. Look how stunning they are. Just appreciate that. They're gorgeous, just spinning around. You're going to be able to blend these with so many pieces. Your price point today for definitely something a bit different. We haven't, well, I haven't seen green serpent, uh, sorry, grey serpentine before, have you? I've not seen natural serpentine from the USA for a long time, so it's definitely something different. But I'm going to make it more different by dropping the price point. Should have been almost £25, which is a great price, but £18.95 is even more delightful, isn't it? 730 carats, so if we just dropped that price down, should have been £25. You're getting it for just £18.95 for you today, though. Well done, absolutely every single person out there. You are getting yourself a real treat with those today. And I've got to say, if you got that um, Savarai earlier on, I think if you did want to add like a little bit of pop of texture that will go nicely with the design, what do you think of that? I think that goes beautifully. Just really gives it a nice texture that's kind of copied within, but it's got that freshness. Yeah, that's genuine, genuine Savorite garnet there for you. Stunning. Um, £18 and 95 pence for you today on something a bit different. Um, what would you be pairing these with mainly? Um, mainly, I think I'd go with silver. Mm. Um, and I, at the moment, I'm really into my sari silks and cabochons, so putting the, those textures together so I might do that but I think I think you could be do all sorts so you could just pop them onto a chain do a really simple wrap pop them onto a chain mm. um, you could put them set them with a polymer I, I don't know they're really really lovely and the great thing about them the color is it's monochrome yes so of course. everybody is going to be able to wear that on you know on some level whether it's casual or you know, dressed up smart. So definitely, they're they're absolutely gorgeous, and I, I love the fact that they're not matte as well. Look, there's they're they're quite glossy. Those yeah, they are. They are. So I like shiny. that because a lot of our cabs, and um, especially the 
um, jaspers have been quite matte. Yes. Or, but these or, ones or got a lovely satin, shine. They're, they're quite glossy. And one thing I've got to say as well is they have been polished front and back, which not all of our cabochons have, but these ones have, which is lovely, because it means there's the front with the dome in, but you've also got the shine on the back as well, which gives it a really gorgeous appeal and, and therefore makes it multi-use, multi multi-sided. Uh, low price of just 18 95 Well done, everybody. Um, we are heading to a very, very quick break because, I'll be honest, we have so much stuff to fit in to this last 50 or so minutes because it's an under 20 pounds section if you want bargains you better stay where you are we'll be back in about a minute guest designer Debbie Kershaw for the introduction to stamping DVD. Debbie will guide you through many techniques including basic stamping, spacing, multiple wording, stamping onto metal blanks and polymer clay. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. My name's Karen Rowe. I've been on the Wire Mesh Workshop with Gemma Crow. This is the first time I've touched mesh. I didn't know how to use it. I'd got no confidence at all. And Gemma has been so patient and helpful. And I've actually managed to make a couple of projects which I feel really proud of. And know I, I was capable of achieving. So I'm really pleased with the outcome. And I would recommend it to anyone. tonight is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world, Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colors can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colors are blue, pinkish violet and yellow. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. Welcome back all to Designer Inspiration. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. I am also with the lovely and inquisitive... <laughs> You read my mind, can I borrow that? <laughs> Gemma Crow! Oh, hi, Gem. Hello. You're right, lovely. Yes. yes. Good, as a challenge. Yeah, yeah it's going all right. I've got to say, I think that's absolutely beautiful. It's getting there. I adore yeah. that piece. It's getting there. She's got such an eye, Gemma Crow. And if you've got an eye, 
for a bargain. Well, you're in absolutely the right place um, because truly in this final section of the show, I have got a whole section of under 20 pounds. Everything you're about to see is under 20 pounds. But the thing about it is not everything should be under 20 pounds. So I've got low stock on some. I've got I've got never seen before prices on some. I've I've got um, you know pieces that you're just going to need in your stash because we rarely see them alone kind of pieces. So this is an opportunity just to give everyone a heads up. It's two pounds ninety five poaching packaging from midnight till midnight. Doesn't matter if you buy just one thing you see in the next sort of forty five minutes or you buy everything. That is the price point if you post your packaging. You've also got oh eight hundred six double four six double five is your number to ring and speak to the call centre to purchase or get yourself on jurymaker.com. You can also go on our website as well if you want to. And don't forget you can pay over the phone, you can pay with your card, you can also pay with PayPal as well. Everybody, it's your time to get involved because I'm about to show you some pieces that are just going to blow you away at the price point. Let's get started with something that you adore and love. I'm about to show you a cord end. You're not actually getting this cord end, it's just to show you the scale of these new cord ends I'm bringing to you. These selection of your cord ends are sensational. Uh, how many am I getting here? Six pieces. Oh, I've got 12 pieces in front of me. So which design is it? Is it the flower design we're going for? Textured ribbon, yeah, because I've got some plain and I've got some flowers here. So let me show you. This is your usual size. This is your flower design. That's your smallest. Can you believe that? This is the smallest of the collection. So you're going to be getting one of those. It's a pair, obviously. It is a pair. You've also got the medium size here. That's the medium size with that gorgeous flower texture. Can you see that flower texture? It's really beautiful. Really beautiful kind of vine design. But then look, here's your largest. Huge! Look at the comparison. These are the ones you get usually in your in your kit, usually in your findings pack. But look at the size difference on those ones. That is epic, isn't it? You're getting something in here which we can use on things like your sari silks. So these are your flowers, but you've also got in a similar size your plain ones as well. So great for your unisex pieces if you wanted to. So this is just to show you those two different designs we're getting on the cord ends. Great for things like your sari silks, great for big pieces of macrame or big pieces of things like kumahimo. I know you're big into textiles. These could be something I suppose you could use quite often. Definitely. I mean ending finishing off the sari silks and banana yarns and all that is always yeah. something that everybody has to really think about and if you're not a wiry person and you don't have a wags y cone then it's you know it's difficult but these are really simple it's so, so simple yeah and they look lovely don't they they're gorgeous really lovely mm. nice to have the pattern on them so yeah. they're just plain really beautiful mm. um you have got here plenty of these cord ends they're all on extended chains and they will have that s-shaped clasp as well get your hands on them whilst you can your price point today i told you under 20 pounds and it's way under uh, it's nine pounds and 95 pence for you today you can't normally purchase these by themselves generally we'll be bringing you these in kits don't we uh, today though that whole section just nine pounds and 95 pence so easy for you to use get them whilst you can 9.95 for you today i'm then bringing to you a really quick bundle again get yourself on the phone i know we're going to be very very busy in this next time so get it whilst you can there's some great things for kind of you know stretch the last of your pocket money as it were on these pieces um i've got for you here some gorgeous cords that will be great for those because it is your lovely thick but high shine cotton cords in these five different colors you've got in here beautiful beautiful super sturdy but really lovely high shine cotton cords they're each around a mil in thickness so they're going to be great for those cord ends if you've just got your hands on them 10 meters worth on each of these spools you've got a beautiful gentle kind of um butterscotch toffee color you've got that apple um, tone as well a really spicy hot pink you've got a forestry green and you've got that wonderful yellow as well your price point for 50 meters within total of this high-end cord 
that goes to show you the quality of this cord. This isn't your everyday run of the mill. The price point of this should be £14.75. We are taking it down though. Um, we don't have to because it is under 20, but we have £9.95 for you today. You've got essentially £15 worth of really high end cord here. Super sturdy, super, super glossy. A beautiful, beautiful feel to these. Honestly, I've got to say that this for me is, is kind of the nicest touchable um, of all the cords that we do for me and we've just taken the price down so it makes it even nicer doesn't it 9.95 for you on those ones today well done to everyone who's got those that is a great price drop it really really is I'm now bringing to you another now this is a low stock opportunity and when it comes to the quality of this you'll understand why it's low stock because when you have seen this before it has been extremely extremely popular the popularity of this gemstone comes down to the fact that a it's citrine and we know that we all love the sunshine yellow bursts and brightness but also it comes down to the fact that this ladies and gentlemen is one of the clearest of all of the citrines I have seen for quite some time with your citrine some things we can sometimes get is kind of a buttery silk like inclusion within your citrine this isn't that at all though this is true eye clear quality sunshine toned 30 carats worth here well done everyone who's already coming in for this i know there's quite a few of you who've just jumped on the phone lines you're probably trying to work out what the price is people online already know and that's why i've already got people who've checked out their baskets and are confirming that they're going to own this because they're seeing it they're falling in love with it especially with that gorgeous Christmas, that brightness, that sunshine tone, that gorgeous clarity with a workable strand because it's a two by one to a five by three. So a nice graduation on there as well. Add some sunshine sparkle at a price point that will make your eyes glow because that's your should be price. Yeah, eight ninety five for this strand. It's a lengthy strand, a gorgeous, gorgeous citrine. It's a gemstone referred to as the happiness gemstone. We're going to make you happier because I have to match the last price. The last price it was shown at is six ninety five, and we have to match it because it's been done in the last few days. If you missed out last time, well, now's your opportunity to get it. It's a stunning quality, gorgeous freshness, Christmas bright sunshine tones in here. But I am in my last chance saloon opportunity on this at this moment in time. That's if everybody was to check out of this today I've got Malaga in today I've got Cardiff in I've got Kefili in I've got Australia in and Essex are with me as well as Devon well done absolutely everybody who's getting your hands on this please do check out because that price point for genuine citrine is sensational but it's because it's low stock opportunity well done all of you getting that I'm about to offer you something now that we do not see often at all, but when we do see it, boy oh boy, people absolutely love and adore, I have to say. Um, you have got here your half drilled pearls. Take a little look at these for me. They're sensational. Um, you have got the buttoners in here. They are, you're getting five pairs of these in total. They're half drilled because as you can see, you have that gorgeous smoothness, that really high luster quality of that genuine pearl on the top and that beautiful smoothness. But then if I show you the back, you have got your half drill drill hole in here, which if I can show you, for example, with these bales that I have, 925 bales, if I just show you, you can see this is how um, you can kind of attach these pieces to them. So if you were to create your piece with that in there, you'd be able to see that there's no showing that from the front at all. So you could actually have these as a gorgeous pair of stud earrings. If you wanted to create your own butterfly back from these, then you absolutely could. They are sensational, sensational half drilled. You get five pairs, which means you're getting 10 in total. But don't forget, you can use these with wire work as well, not just for your stud earrings. Your price point today, for all of these is just six pounds and 95 pence for you we know that gorgeous uh, producer Helena loves wearing her shell pearl earrings um, and they are how much were they, were they 12 12 pounds something did you say 12 pounds something when she bought them and they're just you know individual ones for natural real for you know real deal real mother nature pearls um, with your cultured pearls you could be paying a, a lot more higher price point for these 6.95 probably not the price point you'd expect but we're bringing them to you today half drill pearls and they will go perfectly with these that i've just shown you 
We can use this on so much more. You don't just have to use these with half-drilled gemstones, but they can. They're great for your half-drilled bales if you wanted to glue these in. And of course, don't forget, you have got a long length on these, but if you want to shorten them, you could. Um, and also, if you did want to use these, um, you know, with things like your polymer, then you absolutely can. This is your 95 sterling silver pendant finding that we have here for you. Imagine these used as a bale in maybe things like your silver clay, or if you wanted to use these with any of the half drilled gemstones you might already have in your stash then you absolutely could. Using them with those half drilled pearls I've just brought to you as a little charm design would be absolutely beautiful. Um, you've got loads in here, you've got about 25 pieces of these. They've been extremely popular in the past and we at the moment in time have no more of these in stock. We have nothing similar to this at this moment in time on our website. Um, so if you do want to get your hands on these then they're perfect for, for your, your um, your designs that you want to add that little bit of high-end elegance to them really price point today v95 sterling silver pendant findings again just six pounds and 95 pence for you today the fact that you could actually make yourself genuine pearl kind of you know 95 pendant with these and just one of those if you kind of think about the individual pieces well it'd work out less than a pound fifty to make an individual pendant drop using one of these and, and one of those pearls even though you bought the two separately it's an astonishing astonishing price point and of course no way you'd be selling it for anywhere near that price because you're working with genuine cultured pearls and real 925 as well well done to absolutely everyone who's coming in for this because lovely lovely ladies and gentlemen um, there's when we're dealing with something so unique and individual at such an amazing price point that luxury metal at 6.95 it's for a lot of people it's going to be one of those I need to get my hands on this and that's what a lot of you are doing so just a heads up if you're even thinking oh actually oh maybe maybe get them whilst you can um, $6.95 for you today okay what did you say sorry lovely bringing to you some beautiful chandelier pieces that I'm going to ask Gem Crow about because these are described as your chandelier earrings and they would be perfect for that but actually I think you could do so much more with these. Gem what would you do with these gorgeous findings? See those are great with feathers on. Lots of you know layers of just five feathers dropping off there. They look great. I love like that. that idea. Um, they also look great when you wire in our leaf shaped gemstones things like that. Oh, beautiful they look really idea! With that. You wire in the leaf right in the top section. The section, here. and then use the drops of coordinating gems. Adore that idea. But not just the earring findings; they are connectors. They're multi-strand connectors. Um, so you could get, say, have say five strands coming from here. Yeah, mm. they're pendants. They're slave bangle centers because yeah. we've got five fingers, five rings coming off of those. So oh, they're so versatile. Idea. I love the idea of that. I would never have thought of that. Yeah, so have an idea. So you have the five chains coming from him. Even nice and kind of a little uh, sort of Bollywood feel headband yep. actually, couldn't they? It's yep. a centerpiece. Um, you have got in this five pairs, so ten of these in total. And just to let you know, it is genuine gold over the top of these. It's copper in the centre, but real gold over the top. You're getting five pairs of these in total. They have lots of raised details. You can use things like polymer with these, of course, because they can be baked if you wanted to add, say, a stained glass design almost with these, and you absolutely could. The price point today for five pairs. It's just six pounds and ninety-five pence. Again, a truly astonishing price point for you here. It really is. And one thing I would say is, when you're looking at these, if you're thinking, "Oh, I do like the idea of using them as a multi-strand connector," but when would I have five strands around my neck? Maybe you're, you know, a bit more of a subtle wearing pieces. Feel free to snip some of these off. You know, just keep two, just keep three if you wanted to. It's absolutely up to you. And don't forget, you can always save the pieces of metal to inlay into things like your resin if you wanted to. Um, they're absolutely beautiful for you to be able to work with. And actually, you could use these as kind of multi-effect, couldn't you? Um, well done to everybody who's getting them. We've got triple buyers on this. Nice to see you, Roseanne. Uh, Martin, lovely to have you and Sheila on board, as well as Helen. Um, there's loads and loads and loads of you coming in for this. Um, well done. To to you all it's lovely to have you on board and um, if you are new to us today because there's some new names I'm not recognizing up there if you are new to us today welcome um a news a news is it think a um and Monica as well um uh, there's quite a few new names that I'm noticing in there um 
Haminda as well. Um, lovely to see you all. If you are new to us today, thank you for joining me. It's lovely to meet you. My name is Rebecca Reddikin. Feel free to call me Becky though. And uh, just to let you know, if you are joining in today for your first time, you will get a DVD and a booklet with your first purchase just to give you some sort of hints and tips for you today. Six ninety five for you today. Was that one five or one six sweets? Okay, and bring into you now a lovely strand of your Labradorite. Get Labradorite whilst you can because we're actually finding it relatively tricky to get in large quantities of this at the moment, just for one reason or another, with to do with all the things that we've been purchasing and etc. etc. Et so get it whilst you can if you absolutely love it. And I know a lot of you do because it is so spectacular, it is unique, it's individual. If you want Sheen, Schiller, and Interest in your Labradorite, then you have most certainly certainly got it here haven't you and uh, they are faceted and they have got that golden tone sheen running through these 350 carats worth of these 12 ml labradorites treat yourself today your price point all of this don't forget under 20 pounds I'm already under 20 pounds but we're gonna make it even more delicious for you today 350 carats worth of this sensational faceted Schiller filled Labradorite for actually just eight pounds and 95 pence today get your hands on as many many strands as you want because don't forget it's only two pounds 95 pence for you today on all of these it's extremely busy this afternoon we've had so many of you coming in for all of our amazing deals so do get your hands on whatever you want whenever you can um, especially if you know it's a great price point like that 8.95 for you I'm so sorry that I'm moving on just because I'm moving on doesn't mean that I've, I've run out it just means I have so many more to fit in for you so please do stay where you are I've got a lovely bundle here for you now really really beautiful and in fact I think Sue has created something with these pieces and um, look at this beautiful little um, bracelet beside me I have got here for you a great bundle and what does a bundle mean? Well it means we get a selection of gemstones that we think look lovely together but then we make them even more delectable by taking a really great price point on them all. Um, this is created by the lovely Sue, I love how she's had the little charms on this as well. We have got the equivalent of five gemstone strands because we've got double strands in here this is one of them we say our average strand length is about 30 centimeters but as you can see with this you've got around 84 centimeters worth on this strand so it goes to show you it's a really um just over double strand really so it's the equivalent of five strands because i've got over two strands worth on there over two strands worth on here and i've got a singular strand here um gorgeous peridot fresh bright um with kind of um meadow tones i've got that sky blue appetite as well and um, that really really nice freshness but then i also have that kind of sunshine glow coming from the quartzite drops as well 200 carats worth in that strand of the drops and they're up to around a 16 by 10 mil on those ones so really nice depth to them add these to your order today because they are going to add texture they're going to add difference they're going to add brightness and they're going to work out approximately £1.59 per strand. <laughs> you should be priced today for Spice Up Your Gemstone Stash. Good name. <laughs> um, your price point today, going lower. Lowest we can go, £7.95. We can't take any more money off this whatsoever. We're already at the lowest price point we can do, £7.95. It's working out for the equivalent of five strands. It's working out uh, about, uh, uh, well, under £1.60 per strand for you today, which is just sensational, especially when you think of the kind of wonderful effects that we're getting with these gemstones, but also when you're thinking about the quality and the names and the stature that we're talking about here I'm not just talking about your everyday gemstones I'm talking about your peridot here which has traveled miles and miles and miles and miles not even from the crust of the earth this comes from the mantle of the earth and um, the same kind of location that we expect to get diamond from this has traveled I'm also talking about your appetite in here those gorgeous kind of name of appetite is already very prestigious we see it in our high-end um, collections you know the kind of gorgeous designers that you'll see in you know jewelry quarters in places like Birmingham and Liverpool and London as well um, 
seven pounds 95 pence for you today on that collection is sensational loads of you come in for that well done to any multi buyers in particular and um, it's going to add a really nice interest to your collection and if you've got those storage boxes today oh it's going to be satisfying to put them in the storage isn't it did you get that lovely strand of the um, the faceted citrine I brought to you moments ago, those little rondelles? If you did, these could be gorgeous with it. Um, actually, great with those pearls, natural pearls I had on earlier too. Take a look. Faceted, beautiful, bright, shiny, honey-like citrine we've got here. It's nice that you get different kind of um, colourings within your citrine, isn't it? Um, this is much more of a honey tone that we have. Um, when I say to you that this is citrine, this is the gemstone of happiness, you know, you're already getting images in your mind of the appeal of this and the beauty of this. But when I say this next word to you, I know the connoisseurs are going to be running to the phones. I know that the gem collectors' are, uh, ears are going to go ping. I know that uh, lots and lots of people who've worked with gemstones and have known jewelry maker for many, many years are going to be shocked and surprised because this very rarely happens. The word is natural. Yeah, natural citrine. This is created and, and coloured by Mother Nature. Around about 95% of all citrine that you get on the market today, not just here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, not just here at Jewelry Maker or our sister channels, but I'm talking the high end. I'm talking about, um, you know, the, the names, the likes of things like Vivian Westwood, the likes of things like your... Um, um, who else has worked with this? Um, Tiffany, um, the likes of things like your kind of, um, yeah, your boodles and, and those types of places. Um, you know, they treat their citrine just as much as anyone else. Um, around about 95% of citrine that you will see on the market actually comes out of the ground as another gemstone. It will often come out of the ground as vast majority, it's smoky quartz. And what happens is we heat it to such a high degree that it changes the color. We haven't had to do that with this because Mother Nature's done it for us, which is a true rarity. Your point today I told you that we were going to be doing something a little bit different throughout the show I told you we were going to be doing some great pieces some great treats and we are right here right now because I'm actually dropping the price should have been almost 12 pounds it's eight pounds and 95 pence that is not the price point you would ever expect to see a natural citrine for and we understand that and we know that and that's why so many of those connoisseurs whose names I've seen time and time again you know I'm seeing names on here that I that I kind of associate with our high-end brands I'm, I'm seeing names here that I know um, purchase things like tanzanite from us, uh, that purchase things like, you know, your really high end um, um, opals etc from us. I, I, I recognise a lot of your names. Um, you will realise the kind of uh, the exquisite exclusivity that you're receiving when you get your hands on a natural citrine like this and, and when we're able to drop the price point on natural citrine, it is pretty much unheard of but we've managed to do it today. So Something else that is almost unheard of, Christ Cola. Christ Cola. Gemstone tomorrow. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. Uh, well done to everybody. I've got a stunning new strand and for many new gemstone coming on the show tomorrow uh, so do treat yourself to that if you are available to do so because actually it goes so well with this it really really does if you want to if you want to research it actually um, why not do so how am I I'm, I think I'm spelling it C H R S O L L no O C L L O R is that how I spell it similar to that we'll have a look for you we'll research it for you if you want to research it i've got that on the show for you tomorrow c h r y s l s o c o double l a that's how you spell it so have a little research of it if you want if you love Laramar, if you love turquoise, you're going to adore what I've got for you tomorrow. Um, I've got for you now a bit of a triple trouble of the ever so stunning gemstone of creativity. Hmm. Have a look. Amethyst in a triple trouble. We 
adore amethyst here at jewelry maker and it's not just us everyone adores um, amethyst amethyst is referred to as a gemstone as love one of the reasons it's got that name that connotation is because it's believed that saint valentine used to wear amethyst um it's believed therefore that amethyst brings eternal love it brings um it brings um happiness it brings um kind of ad, ad um adoration and that's one of the reasons it's often given as a, a first wedding anniversary present um you have got three um different pieces here two strands and a cabochon i think you're going to love the price point and um, you're also going to love the fact that every single one of these is natural which is great i've got in here for you the center drilled nuggets which are about a 12 by 10 I've also got in there the drops which are up to a 9 by 5 and I've got that genuine amethyst in the cabochon form it's around about 40 by 30 mil and this is 50 carats worth now can I just say to you I saw recently, uh, well, in fact, this weekend, um, I was out um, in a crafting, it's kind of a local craft shop, it's not, a, it's not a big chain one, it's like a local crafting store, getting me crochet things, you know, um, and um, getting me crochet things and also getting my sort of last minute makes for Mother's Day things. Um, so I was in there and I saw an amethyst cabochon and um, it was smaller than this one and I know the price of this bundle and I can say to you, bottom of my heart, the cabochon I saw, of, of, again it was genuine amethyst but it was much smaller, is the price of this entire kit. Your price point today should be £12.35. We're taking it down in price. Um, the cabochon I saw was eight pounds and 99 pence and it was smaller than this one but actually today you're getting the whole kit and caboodle for just eight pounds and 95 pence for you today it's an amazing price point it really is and actually when i saw that cabochon the other day and it was smaller it was probably about half the size of this when i saw that cabochon of amethyst the other day i actually thought hey that's not a horrendous price point for amethyst in the cabochon realistically um then it was eight pounds 99 but when you think about it in kind of the scope that actually here you've got well a massive carrot weight you've got a gorgeous huge carrot um, cabochon you have got those two stunning strands with different feels and effects but also all three of them are natural well it really does put things into a perspective doesn't it it truly truly does it's the gemstone of love and let's face it when we're creating for people that we do love it's lovely to be able to give them something with that connotation and of course great if you want to work with it because it is a gemstone that has connotations to helping you with your creativity as well um so eight pounds and ninety five pence for you today on this one pardon um, I've got for you now something a little bit special. We were going to play this in something a bit different because we absolutely could because it is a faceted gemstone which is very, very, very rarely faceted. Can I just say to you as well, just whilst I'm here, to everyone who got that amethyst, because there's loads of you, lots of you with it in your baskets, you got yourself a bargain, which I know you know, but actually when you get it home, just do me a favour and look for all those natural colourings with the greens and the yellows because you get them running through there. Congratulations to everybody. Um, but yes, as I was saying this could have gone in that something a bit different um, collection because it's a fasted gem that we very very rarely see fasted and only in later years have we actually seen it faceted that's because this is a picture of the rough form spinning around in front of your eyes that's because of all of those different layers you have different strength points you can find in this gemstone one section of this can be on a Mohs scale as, as low as kind of your fours and your fives on a, on a Mohs scale which essentially means that even if you even if you just polish this in the wrong way it's so so soft it'll disintegrate but then you can also on the same piece find one um, areas around a seven on the Mohs scale it's so hard and so it's such a difficult gemstone to work with because of that also because it's got perfect cleavage that up until you know living memory times we were never able to facet this um we uh, you know as, as a kind of as a gemstone world i suppose in the gemology world we spent years and years and years thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds um trying to find a way to cut this gemstone that's actually steve at the cutting house which we found you could cut this at we went to china we went to india we went to places in america before we found that location the faceting location we're able to get this faceted in is the gorgeous Nepal, uh, sorry, gorgeous <laughs> Jaipur. This is from Nepal though, this strand. Um, do treat yourself to something a little bit different today because you've got your faceted blue kyanite.
Yeah, it should be £24.95. It's faceted kyanite, of course it should be. You never see faceted kyanite, really, let alone in this size. But I'm taking it under 20 because we've told you this is the under £20 section. And I promise you, not everything should be under £20. For the craftsmanship, the work, the time, the effort that goes into not only getting this out of the ground from that ever so unusual location of Nepal, but also for the years and years and years that we have taken to really care for, love and adore this gemstone, to actually find a location that can actually fasten it is astonishing. You are going to get a look unlike anything else. And what I will say to you is very few gemstones can stand up against the power and the passion that is Tanzanite. But we have today. £14.95 for you today is absolutely sensational. Well done to actually everyone who's got it. Please check out your baskets because what I will say to you genuinely is we don't see this often enough at all. It's very unusual for us to see this in Kyanite in general. It is, it is almost impossible for us to get it out of the ground because of that strange um, location which means that extraction actually can be pretty difficult um, but when we see it fasted in such a beautiful way then you've really got to get your hands on it and again 30 day money back guarantee don't fall in love just send it back no questions no quibbles but when you're working with such a high-end gemstone as this it is very very important that we are getting it as quick as we possibly can because it's so unusual that pieces will sell out <laughs> ah it must be time for a new in. <laughs> My director just went, oh, I don't know if that side loaded. Da -da! New in. Uh, thank you, Peter, for that gorgeous impression. Um, it was beautiful. Um, this is our last new in of the day. We've had four new ins, one for every hour of our show, and that impression could well have given you a hint as to what it is. Our brand new in. They're not wolf skin. <laughs> moonstone. Take a look. Not just any moonstone, ladies and gentlemen. Genuine, brand new, 45 carats with a fasted moonstone on a gorgeous, luxurious 925 sterling silver chain. This is exquisite. Possibly the most bridal of all gemstone chains I have ever seen. It is brand new in and the quality is epic. You cannot see what I can see to the natural eye which is shiller and sheen underneath the surface of this. The lights in here, if, if you may be new to us and you're not sure, we are obviously in a studio where the lighting situation it is very, very faux. It's very, very false. It's there to light the guest designers, to less light the desks and the set around us. And with certain gemstones such as uh, this in your Labradorite, what can happen is that shiller and sheen can be lost because the lights kind of almost bleach it out. But what you're actually getting under the surface of these is those blue glows and glistens in here. Um, you have got a meter's worth of this chain, and I need to let you know as well, even though the, the lights in here were so bleachy and you can't see that shiller, that sheen, that, that blue glow under the surface, one thing I will say to you is just think of it this way. The quality of this moonstone is so good that we've actually paired it with 925. If this was your everyday run of the mill, no color play, you know, um, mixtures of colors, no clarity, no way would we pair it with 925. It would be a bad business decision. So that goes to show you the quality of the Moonstone on this. And it is a meter's worth of your chain here today. It is truly, truly sensational. There's a massive amount on here. It's gonna be great to drop your pendants from. It's gonna be great if you you just want to use one link or one loop on a chain do a multi-strand bracelet on this if you wanted to gorgeous for a headband as well lovely in your sprigs or your spruces you've got one meters worth here yeah you're still going along it because this is a seriously long strand in fact it's such a long strand that it's impossible to hold still in the center um, it's absolutely impossible um, you have got a meters worth of this in that gorgeous 95 your price point today new in 
premier price point we're going to bring it in right now that's the price you're going to be paying in the future when I say premier price point I mean sometimes not always not always very rarely in fact when we do a brand new product we're allowed to do a premier price point £12.95 pence for you today. You've got £5 back in your pocket. The only reason we're able to do this sometimes is because essentially you have got here before you something that you could look at and go, oh, do you know what, £17.95, that's an absolute bargain. Um, but you know or oh, I don't know maybe I'll wait because I know that sometimes you know, when they're low in stock they might just have four or five left they might drop the price point for your last opportunity you know but actually sometimes what we do is we like to just say to you hey why not just buy it first time start off with a sale if that makes sense so you don't have to wait because sometimes it can be frustrating you know we do it in shops don't we when we go and look at clothes and dress well I do it with dresses all the time or, or shoes I'll go in and I'll see something I like and I'll go oh it's slightly out I didn't want to pay that much today I'll wait for it to be in the sale and then you get to the sale maybe two or three weeks later and uh oh there's a few left but none of them are in your size or they're the ones that are left over that loads of people have tried on there's all makeup on them and you think oh. um so you know sometimes we do it not always but i do have to be very very clear on this just because i'll get told off if i'm not i cannot guarantee that the next time you see this it will be at the same price because this is a premier price offer so do treat yourself to this whilst you can um especially as i actually have over half my stock gone on this right now and um, you've just saved yourself five pounds Pounds. This is a brand new in and it is your 925 sterling silver. We had a text in about your impression then, Pete. Yeah. 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 You've got a sticker on the bottom of your shoe. Oh. Um, <laughs> hi all, my dogs have just gone bonkers. Thanks, Pete. That's from Steph in South Wales. What do you say, Pete? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Pete. You lovely, lovely lad. Um, loads of you coming in for that. Well done, premier price point. You're going to fall in love with that, I think, when you get that home. I'd love to see your pictures um, of, what, of what you create with this, because I just think it's beautiful. Well done, everybody. Pardon? Now I'm going to bring to you um, lowest ever price point on one of the most workable strands I've ever seen of fluorite. Take a little look at this strand. Is that faceted? No way. Okay, it's hard for you to see. Sorry, let me just pop it down just so I can. Yeah, it is faceted. Look, it's hard for you to see because these facets are so subtle. Right, let me just hold it. Look. Yes, you can see the facets, can't you? What if I do this? Ooh, I hope you see it more, doesn't it? They are. Look at them. Look, if, how about if I show you on just a one colour gemstone? Is that a bit easier? Because the stripes, the natural banding of this, of course, is so, so beautiful. Um, but it makes them even more subtle, doesn't it? I can't believe, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a faceted strand like this. It is so unique and individual. Um, well done to absolutely everybody who is getting their hands on this already. It really is unique and individual and different. Gorgeous, subtle facets on here. You know, you could get away with this being a perfect round if you wanted to, but actually it is gently faceted. I'm about to show you the lowest ever price point on this. So this is not your RRP price, but we're going in with it anyway. Lowest ever price, 293 carats worth of your multicolored floor right here for you today. Once described as one of the most colorful minerals in the world, it gets its name, well, sorry, it lends its name to the fluorescent lights that we all know. And um, the, essentially it's due to the fact that this has such a, a kind of phosphorescent to it that actually the gemstone itself has the ability to glow and um, it is a gorgeous gorgeous gemstone wear this out in the day and you'll see exactly what I mean especially if it's nice and sunny where you are or you're getting ready for those sunshine days um, lowest ever price point you've seen on this six pounds and 95 pence for you get that one whilst you can and um, plenty of you coming in for this just well done to every single one of you I've just got to pop that down because I'm about to bring to you Number one location. This gemstone comes from a location which is so, so extreme. It's so high up in altitude that there's snow on there on the um, mountain tops. And actually, it's so remote that it's a two day trek from the local town 
to the local town. Um, this is your stunning lapis lazuli. It is from such a remote and unique location that actually what happens with this gemstone is Local villagers who, like I say, live about two-day trek from, from the actual mine of this, what they will do, especially those maybe in later life who could, you know, do with a little bit of extra money, um, and even younger uh, people who, or, or people who perhaps find it difficult to travel because their town is so remote, to actually travel anywhere else to do extra work can, can mean that, that members of families are away for weeks and weeks at a time for how long it takes you to kind of travel there. Um, this, this, um, the place in which we get this, you actually get a lot of local villagers who will just work bringing back and forward this gemstone from the mine itself to a local area where it can be picked up because the mine is so remote we can't get any big machinery up there we can't get any diggers up there or any huge kind of transportation to get this down that mountainous area so actually a lot of the local villagers will will help out will lend a hand um, obviously for payment and they will bring it this gemstone down on, on horseback and um, you have got 330 carats worth here of this gorgeous lapis lazuli it's from a completely absolutely unique and, and um, location this is your, your beautiful Afghanistan lapis lazuli and um, it's got a beautiful dispersion through it. It's unique, it's individual, and your price point today is really special. Six pounds and ninety-five pence for this today. It's from such a remote location. It, it, it's kind of transported in such a unique way that you can't really think of that many more gemstones that you can say, you know, local villagers bring it down on horseback, can you? Um, but that's exactly how this gets to us. Um, obviously, not the whole way, um, <laughs> but quite a bit of the way um, £6.95 pence for you and that's not even mentioning the gorgeous shape of these that gorgeous um, kind of speckled effect you get under the surface and and the fact that these are so unique and different they're going to be great on unisex pieces I can actually see these beautifully on a tie pin be really pretty £6.95 for you today on those lots of multi buyers well done to everybody um, I've got some gorgeous slabs now which I know Gemma Crow will love. If you're big into fashions, if you're big into what's going to be popular this year, um, we did a show about it relatively recently, and um, a theme show based around Pantone. Pantone is essentially a company which is um, kind of states itself, I suppose, as creating colour palettes, colour forms, colour pairings that you're going to be seeing coming out in in things like textiles, clothing, um, fashion wear. Um, 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 homeware etc for the coming year and each year they come up with a gorgeous colour palette which, which they know we're going to be used by fashion designers etc and therefore a lot of us are going to have in our wardrobes and around our house over the next year. Their number one colour for the year is known as Masala and boy oh boy if this isn't a bang on match I don't know what it is. Take a look. Gorgeous poppy jasper slabs. Gemma Quo again when I look at this strand I think it's something you'd quite like to work with. It is and you know poppy jasper is the first gemstone I ever bought. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah from here. What was it about poppy jasper then? That just love it. Love the colour. Love the density of, of it. Love the banding. I just absolutely love it. It's still my favourite today. That's absolutely yeah. astonishing because we very rarely see this. No, I know. We get red jasper and it's near. But it's, know, not, it's but not it's not quite. this which is poppy yeah. jasper yeah, and one it. thing to point out about this actually is you see those little round spaces in between those two are poppy jasper spaces um what would you do with these um recently on a design inspiration actually i think with you i did the big I had big highlight slabs and did some like sort of rustic rough looking I remember. spirals yes. in between each chunky slab and i think yeah. i'd do the same with those actually They'd what color really metal lovely. would you go either gold or copper love that idea in fact i'd probably go copper and then i'd use that new texture hammer put some texture in patina it and i'd be away yeah look at a face I know light exactly what up I'd do. i love <laughs> when Gemma quo gets a creative idea because it's always like a light bulb goes off beside her it's very nice well annoying to live with so. <laughs> no no <laughs> i absolutely adore that and um, you're going to adore the price point of these it's just seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you. And if I count the individual pieces, including the rounds here, which, in fact, if I measure those for you, because I know quite a lot of you will want to know, the um, obviously the slabs have a graduation of around a twenty-three by twenty-one to a thirty-eight by twenty-five. But if I just here we go, measure this. 
So the spaces on here that you can see around about, what's we looking at there? What are we looking? Round about a two mil round, three mil round approximately on those spaces. So you've got, including the space and the slabs, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. About twenty-five on this strand. So that price point is really sensational. Seven ninety-five, twenty left. Well done to everybody. I've got about seven in baskets. So if you want them, get on the phone whilst you can. Last one before we head over to the gorgeous Gemma Crow and see the pieces I'm about to fall in love with. Add a little splash of sunshine with this gorgeous, beautifully kind of fiery, stunning strands. These are your top drill drops of carnelian. They have got that, um, uh, that ember-esque look, haven't they? And actually, they've got an amber-esque look. These would be gorgeous with amber if you've got any in your collection. Carnelian, once known as a gemstone of prayer, people used to carve images into these and think that that would be a way of kind of connecting with the gods and getting the gods to answer their prayers. You've got 40 carats worth here. It's a beautiful carnelian, absolutely renowned for its history and folklore. It'll go great with the challenges we gave, actually to Jen, we'll have a look at in a minute. Your price point today for this beautiful strand of Christ array, just £6.95 for you today. Really, really sensational. Um, I'm going to, well done to anyone who's already getting those. I'm actually going to head on over to the lovely Gemma Crow because I really need to see those pieces. Don't forget, we gave two strands to her. One, both brand new strands mm -hmm. because it's Gemma Crow and we love her. Um, we gave her a brand new strand of Ethiopian opal. Um, we did uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous strand on there with a the graduation. And that's at the side of your screen. That was a launch price offer, by the way. Should be £17.95. We also brought brought to you that gorgeous bronzite um, which will come in at the bottom of your screen very soon. How are these to work with? They're gorgeous. I, I wish I had had more time with them. I'd like to have done something a bit more wispy with the arrows but mm. um, yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think that's that. I love so the shape beautiful. The shape is exquisite and it's like you were saying about the shape of the gemstones. It's good to be able to draw the eye in the direction you want and yeah. you've got that there. Yeah. I love this piece too. Yeah, again, that's using, that's directing you, you know, where you, where you, where you your want eye, the eye goes, to be. And then mimic the shape. The great thing about the shape gemstones is you can mimic it really easily. Your design's done really. Of course. So very simple pendant. I think that's beautiful and actually I could see it as a unisex piece. Yeah, well, I wanted to wanted to find some leather just to put a few on leather core because I think they're ideal for Perfect gents for jewelry. Oh, and you've also got a pair of earrings in your ring as well. Yeah, but that that one opal in that ring is just so amazing. It had to be in a ring, isn't it? Loads of beautiful pin fire in yeah. there, isn't there? absolutely yeah. sensational amount and um, do check out those baskets this is your opal spinning around before your eyes 14 pounds and 95 pence for you and the bronzites at the bottom of your screen gem thank you so much as always That's i've right. got you again on friday i know what are we expecting um i don't know yet because i haven't started good <laughs> can't wait we've got that new tool for you to play with though uh, yes i know i've got new tools yeah and i will i'm able to use my hammers now my texture hammers because we got them too so absolutely that's nice. absolutely yeah, Jen, thank you for today lovely lady as always rest your throat please oh i will i will yeah. it's been wonderful to have you on <laughs> it really really day. has um if you do want to um see more of Gemma's pieces don't forget we will take photos of them all and put them on your facebook jewelry maker page for you thank you for joining me today i genuinely appreciate it tomorrow well forgot on I've got an Irene on tomorrow and a brand new gemstone. I'll see you soon. Bye. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's the Resin Projects course and Fiona is a terrific teacher. She's fun, she's very knowledgeable and we've learned